doesn't want to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, we're just having a conversation as we go. Um, poor Craig. Poor Craig. <laughs> yeah. Hello, wow. friends. Oh, no, it's weakness now. Yeah, well, welcome. It's kryptonite. It's fine. I don't need to introduce the video. <laughs> no. Hello, oh, welcome to High Rollers, the D and D campaign here on the Yogscast Twitch. Over also over on High Rollers D and D Twitch as well. I am your dungeon master, Mark Sherlock Humes, as always. And joining me this week we have. Rhiannon, <laughs> Chris Trot, Kim is Hi. back, she's feeling better. Sponsored On the other side, by Albus Oil. Not yet, don't you? <laughs> we have another yet. sponsor. <laughs> we're not, we're not. <laughs> Tom Hazel oh, and hello. Katie, the Hi. whole gang is here. Uh, Mark is your here. birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! There is Happy birthday to Everyone Tom will cut that out. Uh, but Twitch, I'm sorry. Uh, but yes, it is, it's my birthday today. Of course, right, it was also it was your birthday last week. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> Please, yeah. I just want to get on. We got so many. And then Rihanna, it's your birthday in a couple of weeks. Happy, Happy birthday! We're gonna do that one again. We'll do no. Rihanna's birthday. It was my birthday in December, and we didn't celebrate it. Happy birthday! Not that one. Not that one. Didn't we miss Tom's birthday? No, no, we yeah. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Shit me. November. Close November. enough, yeah. <laughs> well, so it is a little special birthday episode. There's lots of birthday stuff. There is donuts outside, so if you want to grab a donut mid-game, go and grab yeah, one. Chat, TJ, it's one for you yeah, out there TJ, as well if you want one. Donut. Uh, so check those out. Um, so yes, a couple of things before we get started. First of all, sponsors. Woo. Uh, first sponsor, our longtime sponsor, D&D Beyond. Uh, yeah. D and D Beyond, wonderful people. Wow, guys, We're come on! The <laughs> like, like, if you're gonna do well done, it, D &D do Beyond. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love you. Uh, D and D Beyond is the official D and D digital tool set. Uh, cool thing to announce this week: the D and D Beyond Discord is now live. <laughs> you, can, you can hang out and discuss all things D and D. You can interact with the D and D community. You can get updates. You can ask the D and D Beyond staff questions, and that's all available. D and D Beyond .com forward slash Discord. Nice. Go check it out. It's a great place to meet other D and D players. Talk about min maxing. Talk about how your fun is wrong. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't bring that there. Don't, don't, don't bring I that there. I forgot a pencil. It's so pure there. Failure. I never fail, Mark. Dad, Dad has you covered. Thanks. Um, so told us to big thank you, D and D Beyond. Dad is fine. Daddy is weird. Well, we didn't say daddy. We said no. Dad. You got some. Some people. We say said daddy. thanks, Dad. Some people tweet it. Uh, we got WhatsApp told off. Anyway, oh, like bad children. <laughs> Whilst I'm doing the sponsor read, <laughs> long-term sponsor, thank you, D&D Beyond. We love you. Thanks so much. Thank Looking you. Looking forward to all the new stuff coming out of D&D Beyond as well. <laughs> yeah. But do you know what? We have a second sponsor this yeah, week. We it's a wonderful what? sponsor, um, Elderwood Academy. Woohoo! Elderwood Academy. Happy uh, birthday. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, do you want to show off this stuff? So, like, Tom, that's yours. You can show this off. Yeah. Uh, you guys show these off. For a while already. Yeah, Rhiannon, really, you can do it. Um, oh. the, uh, so Elderwood Academy make beautiful wooden D&D oh, yeah. accessories. Oh. They were kind enough to send us a few of their products. Oh. Um, provide a special one-time offer code for High Rollers fans, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, you can check out their amazing portable leather dice tray, which Trot's got there. Uh, they ah, come in these cool... Uh, it comes in this, which is, a, which is also a dice tray. It's a dice, so, uh, dice tower. tower. Dice dice tower. tower. Yeah. Um, yeah, but so. it's like a cool codex. Mm. Um, there's, you've got the spell books, which Tom has. Yeah, my so these have got, got Yeah, so these have got... Um, <laughs> they've got like a foam insert for all your dice, miniatures, spell yeah. cards, Aww. pencils. They're also a dry erase board, so you can write on yeah. them as well. Exactly. Um, or a nice dice, mirror. Nice. Uh, dice chest here. Uh, actually, if you open that up, it's like got a lovely more, set of like dice more. in it as well, Rhiannon. Like, so, <laughs> lovely little dice chest to hold your dice. Ergonomic D&D on the go. Yeah, they are all... Um, <laughs> so, they're all custom-made. They're hand-finished, natural products. They use real leather, all of that kind of good stuff. Real um, wood. Very, very oh, super nice. high quality. Uh, they also... Ooh. You can choose Fuck. what designs. I broke it. <laughs> they, the actual designs on them... So, uh, Tom, if you show off the front of your spell book yeah. and on like the dice tray, yeah. you can choose what images you have. Have on them, so you can yeah. actually select what logos and stuff you have. Um, one of the, the people at Elderwood have done a very lovely thing. They've put a special code in, so if you make an order with Elderwood today, 
and you put in the order notes, happy birthday high rollers, oh. they'll include oh. a free set of miniature metal dice for the order worth $25. Whoa. Wow, nice. really? So if you make an order at Elderwood Academy, there yeah. should be a link in chat. There it is. In fact, happy there you birthday. go. Oh. So check that out. Um, they're really lovely guys, Quentin and Dan, I believe. Um, really lovely. The products are super high quality. We just got sent these randomly. I love them so much. I asked Bex and Paul Floor to really nice. contact them as a potential sponsor. sponsor. Um, beautiful dice, beautiful woods. Guess Everything's really lovely. Like, the codex is like beautifully yeah. hand, like printed and, and beautiful. engraved and stuff. Why beautiful. Beautiful. No, it's back. It's back. It might have just been the screen. Okay. TJ will fix it. It's magnetic um, as well. Yeah. Yeah. So stay shut. Very stay very shut. lovely. <laughs> Check out Elderwood Academy. Check out D&D Beyond. <laughs> Our lovely love sponsors Brianna. for today. Can we clap them? All right. Thank you very much. Um, and then I guess the normal announcement stuff. If you've got an Amazon Prime, don't forget you get Twitch Prime. You can sub <coughs> for free. You can subscribe to either the Yogscast or High Rolls D&D if you want some special custom emotes. We changed one of the emotes. Now. Yes, we did. Daddy's boy is, is now daddy. daddy. So you can use your Daddy emote on in Mark. the Rolls chat. Yeah. Um, or in any chat. Um, we've also updated the Twitch, uh, D&D Beyond Twitch, so we've removed Matt's character, so that should be good. Um, but yes, uh, normal stuff, podcast, YouTube, check all of that good stuff out. It's all coming up. We'll have more announcements, hopefully, at some point soon. And with that, should we play the old uh, Erois intro video? Ooh. Why not? Why not? Yeah, Let's crack on. Yeah. No, it's not. Well, yeah, that actually, <laughs> no, let's not do that. Just jump straight into the episode. You know what? Let's not. No, do, 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 do it. Do it. Jay's, he's doing it. Maybe we he's getting on it. Yeah. He can do it. I believe in him. To high Mark's rollers. Really enjoying his birthday. Love it. Yeah. Very happy birthday. Um, recap for last week. A storm has come and passed over the small city of Kaylee's Rest. Our travellers have arrived and found friendship with a group of wayward guardians, battled priest of Zephyr in the search for answers, and even taken part in a magical dueling sport called Spell Clash. It's a tiny clown. In the Temple of Hesper. They fought against religious zealots of the sun god Palador to protect the priest who taught them about the mysterious Eterna. And whilst the priest and our travelers survived, the temple was burned and ruined, and a new power is rising in the city, a figure known as the Abbotess. Now, most of our travelers race back to the mausoleum of Queen Kaylee I to meet with a mysterious garden who may know, guardian to may, who may know a way to extend the magical construct's lifespan and save one of their own. But in the burned out remains of the Temple of Hesper, an air ganassi is sat on a half scrubbed floor, soot stains and marks over her hands and clothes. Uh, Nova, is there, we have, we know why that you left the group last week. Uh, you mentioned wanting to spend some time with Tiangong, wanting to help at the Temple of Hesper itself, but also maybe take a few quiet moments to yourself from the Events. Hectic. Yes, the hectic events since you boarded the Sparrow Blade. Is there anything that you are that you want to think about? Anything you want to do whilst you are away from everyone else? I think she probably felt a little bit bad about what happened at the Temple of Hesper, which is why she wanted to go back mm -hmm. and and help. Um, you know, even if she can't replace the books, she mm. can just scrub the floors and. Yeah, the um, temple itself was quite ruined, so most of the interior is blackened. Um, the stone survived, so the building itself mm. is still there, but the insides have been completely decimated by the fire. Um, she's definitely been thinking a lot more about what Dean Simon said about um, the, was it the Eternal Triumvirate? Mm -hmm. And um, how 
uh, Etana take a symbiotic relationship with their mm -hmm. host. So she's probably been thinking more about what this means is going on between her and Tian Gong, mm -hmm. which is why she pulled out of the um, spell clash, which mm -hmm. you, yeah. um, thank you for explaining at the beginning last week, because she feels like she's borrowing Tian Gong's power. So mm -hmm. she doesn't want to use it for entertainment and for mm -hmm. sport because she finds that, feels that's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. So she's probably thinking, just thinking, like processing every, all this information we've had about a Turner, about Night Frost, um, meeting the new um, uh, guardians mm -hmm. and thinking about, you know, the power problem. Okay. And she's probably just processing everything. Like, just think, like, I think maybe doing a, a monotonous chore is her way of like working through everything and putting it in order and like storing it away in okay. her mind. Is there anything you want to get out of this time? Like, is there anything you want to do or is there anything you're, you know, do you want to try and speak to Tian Gong or is there anything you want to accomplish or <coughs> just taking a moment to get away from everything? Nothing accomplished so much as just like, almost trying to make amends a little bit for the fire that happened at the temple. Um, but also she would be kind of like trying to reach out to Tian Gong and to affirm what she's learned um, about how Tian Gong, what she has is a tiny sliver of this bigger being mm. and how kind of reaffirming what she said to Night Frost of she wants to uh, reunify Tian Gong mm -hmm. to try and help the Eterna and to help Night Frost mm. um, and maybe the way to do that is to reform Tian Gong and mm. figure out where the rest of the triumvirate is. Mm. So as you're thinking about these things, your hands worn, aching from scrubbing at the stones, clearing out debris. You can feel that ever-present gentle hum of power from your sheath as a small dagger at your side. That kind of comforting power that's always accompanied you ever since you found him. You kind of let these thoughts wander. And whilst there are no words, there is always this emotive response. You do get the sense that Tian Gong's fragment or sliver or whatever it happens to be is comforted by your thoughts of reforging it. There is a sense of comfort. And you feel that gentle tug, almost as if it's pulling you towards the north, towards Gold Throne, maybe beyond, in the hopes that maybe something's there. There's no communication. You feel that it is still um, either young or weak in its <coughs> form and unable to communicate as you've seen Night Frost do. But you get that sense of comfort and that sense of uh, on kind of encouraging you forwards as in mm. there is more kind of, you feel that sense that there's more out there to find. And, and I'm on get, the right path. Yeah, and you get the sense that if, if Tiangong gets closer to like a fragment, then there'd be a stronger reaction. Mm. But it depends on where it is and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you spend the day clearing it out. Dean Simon pops by occasionally, but you can see he's never really without the Harvest Guard now. Um, he doesn't seem bothered by the mess. Um, he makes arrangements and he, he is grateful to you, um, but without kind of keeping it thing, he assures you you don't have to be there, mm. um, but he appreciates you being there. But the, the conversation is passing and fleeting. It's kind of a, you can stay here if you want. Um, I'm trying to deal with other things right now. And you can see that he's accompanied by the Harvest Guard pretty much wherever he goes now. Um, and so he comes back to the temple, heads off again, maybe comes back a bit later, heads off again. Mm -hmm. um, and it is around, the, the city is turning dark as the sun begins to dip down, when you feel that there's not really much more you can do. Most of the debris is being cleared out, lots of the floor, the flooring is gray and blackened, but not covered <coughs> in soot and ash as it once was. Um, and you know that around about now would be when they're doing the spell clash match. Um, I'll head over to the arena okay. then. Yeah. The rest of you, uh, as you emerge victorious from the magical dome of the Spell Clash Arena, you head out into the plaza and you can see that there are gathered uh, crowds um, and quite a few linger. And as they kind of lay their eyes over Lucius and Quill, a number of these civilians, ranging in ages, begin coming over and they 
you know, they're like, hey, and they're pointing at you and cheering, and they kind of come at Quill, and they want to try and shake hands, or they're like, yeah. the Painted Prince, and they kind of like go over, and they're like talking excitedly, like, oh, I can't believe your match was so close. We thought you were the comedy act. Ha 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 ha. It's this kind of gathered crowd around <laughs> you. Um, but then it got really exciting. That little halfling fellow was dangerous. Were you scared? And they're like bombarding you with questions, and Quill, we can't believe you beat him so. Re- Reckland so quickly. We thought he was the favorite for sure. We thought that you were done for. Uh, uh, just, just, just lucky just, Hulk. Okay. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, whilst this is all going on, Lucius, you can hear in your mind um, this voice, this kind of ethereal voice. <coughs> Master Lucius, the, the the guardian has arrived. I see him. He is wandering around the gardens, but I can hear that there is a growing crowd outside somewhere. I can hear many voices and, and gathered numbers. Um, thank you, everybody. It's very kind of your very lovely words. And he's Will getting... you sign my, my agreement? Absolutely not. No, don't have a pen. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. There's like a general kind of like... Mm, kind we, of... we have to go fight more battles in Spell Clash. Lucius? Right away. We have to go? Oh, right no, away. What a show. Is, that, is there wind coming through? Yeah, Maybe a breeze of some breeze. kind? Yes. Yeah, yes. Oh, <laughs> it's yes. close to night. Like it. Getting frosty. <laughs> getting cold, <laughs> right? Night frost. Yeah. Bye! So, <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> oh, I gotta go! Uh, okay, uh, so the gathered crowd, I mean, it's quite a big crowd around you. Like, if you want to try and... I mean, they're not blocking your path, as say, but I think, like, to try and disengage yourself from the conversation, um, unless you want to try and kind of persuade them or something like that. Can I help? Yeah, I mean, sure, like, what do you want to yeah. do? Uh, All right, I'll... back off! <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, give me an intimidate check, I oh, think. Oh, shit. <laughs> you can use strength instead. Oh, okay. Physically imposing. Flex it. 20. 20. Nice. Yeah, like, as A, like, kind of starts barging forward, like, shoving people, like, just, like, Kev, the security guard, like, shoving <laughs> yes! people aside, yeah. uh, trying to get to the thing. People do very quickly start backing See, off. Told like, told you I'd oh, security. It's oh. fine. Got it. Good, let's, let's get you out of here. Grab the two of them and making your way. Vala and, um, Vala and Arvel uh, haven't been included in the crowd, so they're kind of trottering along with Sentry at the side, um, who they don't seem to react to. The crowd doesn't seem as interested in as the two Spell Clash champions. Um, and as you begin making your way out of North Street, you catch kind of walking down the road towards you, you see Nova coming from the Temple of Hesper, which is further down the street. Um, Ah, uh, yeah. And Nova, you see these guys, basically. You can see a crowd gathered, and then you see Ayla basically shouting and shoving and, and pushing. And you're like, hey! Hey! Oh, another fan. Hey, listen! Oh, wait. It's Nova. It's Nova. <laughs> She's our long-term fan. <laughs> Number one fan! We need to get away from here. There's crowds. They're following us. Oh, no, we need to get following? away. How do they They're go? not following. They're, They're not just, following. Okay. They're not tell, following. We'll tell you all about it. Uh, but we need to get to uh, the, the garden. When Vala sees you, she's like, Oh my god, Nova, it was amazing! Quill, like, fought this guy, and this guy was using, like, big fists of earth, and he tried to grab Quill, but then Quill paralyzed him, and then they, he fought, like, loads of feather spells at him, and it was really cool. And then Lucius, it was kind of funny, because he was kind of running around for a little bit, and he fought, like, a little halfling, who was kind of like a dragon as well at the same time, and then wow. they fought, but it was kind of funny to start with, but then it got really serious, and they were really, like, trying to punch into each other. It was really cool, and she's just hundred miles a minute. Rah, 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 rah. Also, Breeze is here. Oh. We're going to extend Sentry's life. Hooray! Well, okay. Actually, it's more Tracker immediately because yeah. Tracker is really, really on the way out right now. So what? we're trying to save him. Oh, so we're going to talk to Breeze. Yeah, yeah. last time we saw Fix him, it. he kind of. Uh, wasn't himself? Oh, he was himself, just him from... Reset. He doesn't remember. Yeah. He saw the Prime again as well. What? He saw the Prime. I've got yeah. some theories. I really went off on one yeah. in my own mind for a while. Anyway. Is this important to have right now, or do y'all want to get moving? We have also, to... uh, me, should me and Vala come with you, or...? The less people, the better, I think. We already that... know how much Breeze doesn't trust anyone that's not a Guardian. We have to hang back. I'm All right, well, if that's... Well, I'm just going to point this out, though. You've just used everything you got. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, you shouldn't have to fight. Bro. Arvel has a crossbow. He's not going to be reliable. Mm, Crossbows, weapons. Try to be. Uh, I yes. mean, if we're going to be. I, in the I'm pretty. Anyway. I'm, I'm pretty quiet. I don't. Like, you well, know we all have I'm to hang hiding. back anyway. Yeah. We we have to. We have to hide anyway. I can turn invisible. That's useful. Well, as long as we all stay very distant and hidden. Respectfully. Yes, so Breeze doesn't get catch wind of us. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> very inappropriate. Oh, that was uh, so delicious. Like, 
he smirks, but you can see he doesn't want to. He's <laughs> just like... I'm going to yeah. write that one down. I'm writing that one down, Lucius. That was amazing. <laughs> Did I do a funny? Do we know what Breeze looks like at all? A guardian. A guardian, yes. Yeah. But is he is he is he smasher? Is he is he sentry? Not sentry. Sentry. Night no, Frost, it's like no. sentry. <laughs> tracker. Yeah. I meant tracker. Night Frost would probably know, right? Can you ask Night Frost? Night Frost. Yes, master. What does the guardian look like? Give me a visual description. He appears to be slender of build. Slender of build. And his armor is his uh, armor darkened, is, uh, darkened, almost, darkened, almost uh, colored, in almost a way. colored in a way. He is not as armored as sentry. He is not as armored as sentry. But he carries a staff. But and he a cloak, carries a, a staff. cloaked hood. And a cloaked hood. Staff. Magic. Mm. Um, Interesting. Well, sentry, would you know, based on that, what kind of guardian he is? What sort of jobs he would have had before? I know that. I'd say that, yeah. No, you, do, you wouldn't know. Okay. Like I said, you know that there are guardians who cast magic. You know, guardians can fulfill any role that another humanoid can. They can be druids, they can be clerics, they can be whatever. Um, and you know that there were war, war mages, you know, guardians, but there were also mages that performed rituals or healing. You know, it varied really what the guardian's role was, it depended on what they were built for. So. I reckon before we even get to the garden, we stay behind Sentry, like far behind, just in case Breeze is like really scouting the area. Okay. We should find Tracker first and get him down. Yes. As well. Yeah. The case. Smasher, who's holding like, him. They're bringing him there, though, right? Were they not going to bring him? Oh, yeah, they were all yeah. going to meet. I mean, I'm going to leave this to you guys' memory. So. I'm pretty sure they said that they would meet us there. We'll see. If Am I there. wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Can I roll a history check? <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll to no. see if I remember? No. My history ah. check. I'm going to leave this based on your notes and your memories. Right, I've got four lines of notes from the last episode. My brain is all spell clashed out. Most right of now. which is Chauncey Goodfellow, <laughs> Oda Crap, Dragon Man. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> what a guy. Very important. <laughs> Chaunce, Chauncey Goodfellow. Yeah. Bree, is it Bree Willow? Yeah, Chauncey Bree Willow, I think. Oh. So you've got it wrong. Yeah, I think it is anyway. Chauncey? Might be wrong. Chauncey. I was, when I was watching this last week, I was like, Chauncey, Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Chauncey. It's, uh, Chauncey. pronounced RP. <laughs> yes. um, so what's the plan? I mean, none of us remember. Right now you are currently on North Street and you're <coughs> heading, I mean, are you talking as you're walking or are you stood yeah. sort of outside the main arena? Um, if you're talking while you're walking, you're making your way down North Street. Um, so you have North Street, the Queen's Plaza, East Street, South Street. I mean, we need is... to head to the Queen's Plaza anyway. Queen's Plaza is where the mausoleum is, yes. How far is the Guardian's home to where we're going? You have to go through Queen's Plaza and then down pretty much all the way to the gates of South Street. So we have to go pretty much... You have to walk basically the whole city, basically. It's like on the other side of the city. Well, Um, didn't Tracker as well say, like, in a previous... Not last episode that I missed, but previously, that he wasn't sure about Breeze. Yeah, I think we should should scout it out. Except he's going into... Was that Nova asking? No, this is Cam. Okay, well, Tom's answering. He went into, like, a super... uh, memory loss state. No, 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 I know what happened because I watched the stream last week, but I'm saying like a couple of weeks ago, Tracker said that he didn't trust Bree, so why would we take him there when he's in a because he's, compromised state? There's no other choice. He's yeah. powered down anyway. Yeah, Fair we, made that we were basically before. taking him there. It's a last his resort. Will. Yeah, against yeah. his, <laughs> yeah. against his it wishes. Would it would be against yeah. his wishes, but from for lack of anything else to do. Yeah. Onwards. Okay. Sentry, take the lead. We'll follow on behind. Stealthy. So you have Sentry in front of you guys. Yes. So you're leaving some space between Sentry yeah. and you. Okay. Okay. So Sentry, you're the first to notice this, but as you enter the Queen's Plaza, this large, open, circular, like market square almost, with this huge kind of uh, hilled garden in the very middle of it, you can see that a large crowd has gathered around a small, hastily built stage. Harvest guard and figures in dazzling armor engraved with symbols of the sun and flames are positioned all around, watching various travelers and citizens of the city. Um, And you can see that there is a stood on the wooden stage flanked by two armored looking knights, um, uh, as well as Malika Dornblest. You see a woman, uh, her white robes cover her body but leave her arms and thighs exposed. A metal breastplate covers her chest, and armoured boots rise up to her knees. 
Long flowing blonde hair with streaks of orange and red spills out of a short mitre uh, with a golden symbol of Palador at its front. And she holds a tall crozier staff tipped with the same symbol. She stood on the stage addressing a very large gathered crowd that's filled a portion of the Queen's Plaza. Think the kind of big open space of the Vatican uh, in front of St. Paul's, uh, the, I think, <coughs> is it St. Paul's? Yeah. yeah. Um, and you begin to hear this voice uh, magically projected uh, through magic. The actions at the Temple of Hesper were the actions of a sad, misguided few. Actions that the Abbey and myself would never condone. Whilst many of us within the Abbey have strong views on ensuring that Savona is safe and that the hard work of its citizens is acknowledged, we would never wish any harm or ill will to the travellers and races that come here. Sadly, many people have suffered terribly from the free movement and open borders our current king has encouraged. People have lost their homes, their land, their work, and it is easy for these individuals to be swayed by violence and others. Now that our dear abbot has passed on into the warmth of our heavenly protector, I intend to make sure that these dark stains are burned away and that Savona is united as one. In fact, that is why I asked the other faith leaders to join me at the Abbey as our dear abbot passed to talk about the future. I am overjoyed that star mourner Elanus and rest keeper Jasta, along with our mayor, joined me. Even now they are at the Abbey discussing ways to bring Savona closer together. Despite the terrible manner in which he was treated, it is my dearest hope that Dean Simon and caretaker Mason will join us too and I offer them my humblest apologies and promise to ensure that such behavior does not happen again. Um, and you can see that there is a murmuring of the crowd as this woman speaks, but as she does this, the crowd is gathered in an awe around her. They just stare up at her, mesmerized. Um, and there's a few kind of claps. You can see a few more vocal people like, yeah, cheering, kind of saying, praise be to Palador. And you hear this kind of like growing kind of applause erupt around. Um, but the crowd is so large that you see the guards are watching you, a um, mixture of Harvest Guard and these armoured knights. Uh, you just hear this kind of, as you wander past. We all hear it. Yeah, yeah, you all hear it, yeah. As you're making your way through the plaza, you can't help but hear it, it booms outwards. The woman uh, bows her head. Um, she offers a short prayer to Palador. I, it is my dearest blessing that the light of our great Lord descends upon you all treat your lands and your hearts fairly. This is our land, but it is a bounty to be shared where it can. I thank you. And there's a clap of applause, and you can see that she then begins descending from the stage, flanked by these knights. Um, you can see her whispering to Malika Dornbless and a few others. Mm. But she sounds lovely. Maybe we've got it all wrong. Oh, I don't know. Dark stains burned away. Yes, the, the dark stains are the, the select few that ruin the name. Sure. Well, the dark stains in the Temple of Hesper, but that can't be. Yeah. The oh, I didn't think about it like that. Yes. The Ashbringers had a different idea of what a dark stain was, mm. and it happened to just be all of us. Yeah, but she said that she doesn't like them, so... She said that, but mm. Brookstone said a lot of different things as well. <gasps> You're right. As a reminder, who has a passive perception above 14? I do, but... No, oh, mine's... 15 was my one eye, mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. 15? Yep. Nope, on this side? 13. 13? 13. Nope. 13. So just Quill, you, whilst you're saying that, just out the corner of your eye, you kind of cock your head and you catch a glimpse of this woman, this abbotess. <coughs> and she must be young, she must be in her 30s. Um, as she's talking, she looks over really and clocks the group of you. Mm. And she just looks over and just nods goes back to her guards, whispers something else. Mm. And then you see her begin to head over towards Aww. you. How big is the crowd around us? Pretty big. If you wanted to try and disappear, you easily could. Have you got a fireball? <laughs> <laughs> she's, um, she's seen us. She's coming over. <gasps> she's coming over here. Wait, How do I look? Yeah. I mean, well, as, as Quill now points this out, the rest of you can look around and you can see her very slowly, not in a hurried pace, um, but you can see her and these two knights making her way. I'm wondering if this has put Breeze off even coming. Oh, All I these hope, people. I hope not. How far is the mausoleum from this? Place? So this is. So imagine the big plaza. Yeah. It's a big open space. The mausoleum and its gardens are right in the middle. So it's like having right. a botanical garden on a hill in the middle of like a big, massive yeah. square. 
Um, like a huge to... plaza, like this is, you know, yeah. streets wide. Look, we don't need to leave. She can There's... see where we're walking. If we walk there, she's going to just follow One us. of two things is going to happen. One, she's going to talk to us in front of this crowd of people under the disguise that she has. And she's disguised? No, but I mean, with kindness and generosity and friendship. She's a Brookstone. She's within about 10, 12 seconds of reaching you at this point. Okay, cool, so cool. She's not going to do anything in front of all these people that she just addressed. True. Okay. So as you finish saying that, you see this woman approach, and you can see that a lot of eyes have turned around. Um, and as she kind of stands before you, she's tall. She's maybe like six foot one. Um, but you imagine that her heeled boots probably add at least a couple of inches to that. Um, and she bows her head. I believe that you are the ones responsible for protecting Dean Simon from my wayward followers. That's us. She like nods her head. I wanted to come and thank you. Thank you for dealing with it. It is uh, a terrible shame that they misunderstood my intentions and used it for their own violent means. I am sad to hear that you had to kill them. I would have hoped to have preferred to have bring them to justice uh, as a lesson. But obviously you must have been trapped in defending yourselves, I'm sure. Oh yes, they set the whole place ablaze and uh, most of them actually, since a few perish in their own flames. Mm -hmm. I believe that there is rumors of a small sect who believe that they can die in the flames in service of Palador. It is a terrible thing, something that I must deal with. But I wanted to come and meet you all. Could you tell me your names? Oh, I am the Painted Prince. Oh, how very quaint. I mean your real names. Yes. My name is Kulek Adkalar. Kulik Adkalar. I have not had many chances to speak with your kind before, apart from those at the Wayspire. Are you not of the guild? Uh, well, as you, you seem can see. To... <laughs> oh, does that prevent you from the services to your guild? Yes, it... they fly. Ah. I don't. <laughs> Shame. And the rest of you? How about you, my dear? She looks over towards Ayla. Ayla. Just Ayla, is it? Yep. Ah, I perhaps am mistaken. I believe that your kind had clan names, but perhaps that is not always the case. I am ignorant of such things. Hmm. I just prefer not to discuss it. Oh, a shame. She looks over. Is it hot out here? Is it? <laughs> can I roll an insight check on the avatar? Like, sure. Yeah. See? Absolutely, you can. Nah, five. Oh, that's an interesting roll. Five. Five? I mean, she is being very polite, smiling. You don't see kind of any any sense that she's hiding her emotions or she's trying to be deceptive in any way. She seems to just be quite genuine in everything that she's said so far. It's the best you can get a read on her. Mm. And you? I'm just kind of like looking at the ground at this point. Just like There's no need to be shy, my dear. We're just travellers. Nova, don't tell her your real name. <laughs> <laughs> Nova, is it? Mm -hmm. Are you from Vortensar? <laughs> I've read a little of the Ganassi city, but I've never uh, heard too much about it. Well, it'd be hard to hear much about it, given that it was teleported hundreds of light years away and replaced with a different city. Wait, no, I'm too, I'm, I've got it confused in my head. Ignore that. She, no, she, I think like it kind of makes sense. Nova in a panic says the wrong, like yeah. switches it around. Nova's dyslexic. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like, hmm. and you? My name is Virian Smasher. <laughs> Deception check there, please, please. Eight. Oh, eight. <laughs> Plus. 11. 8 plus 11, so 19. 8 plus 3, 11. Oh, 8 plus 3. <laughs> That's like plus 11. 11, wow, I'm impressed. At level 4. <laughs> she kind of like looks, she, she kind of looks hurt almost, or like, you know, like, oh, you know, 
I feel like you've been slight. She's been slighted. We don't trust the pretty lady. She's just like, oh well. If you didn't wish to tell me your names, I suppose that you simply should have just said. I didn't wish to fight some of your people. They weren't misguided. They were not my people. They believed in Palador, and I, I believed that they served him dutifully. But clearly, they have been twisted by their anger and their frustrations. I knew some of them, and I knew that they had had hardships in the past. Certain farms lost. There's a flick of her eyes towards Ayla when she says it. Uh, farms lost to raiders, to uh, businesses lost to people from overseas. Temples lost to extremists. I am so sad to hear about Dean Simon's temple. I know that he was not keen on people, but it is important for a library to be in, in the world. Nova really nervously puts her hand up. Yes, my dear. Um, if you were really sad about what happened, she's so nervous at this point. If you were really sad about what happened at the temple, um, why weren't you there today? Or, um, why didn't, or why didn't you send people from your temple to help with clearing up? Um, I was there all day and I didn't see any Paladir worshippers. Oh, it's quite simple, my dear. Myself, I have been desperately trying to speak with Dean Simon and the other faith leaders to make sure that something like this doesn't happen again. I'm afraid that my role means that I don't get to do menial, uh, manual tasks. You could as much have sent anymore. some of your worshippers. Oh, Not the Ashbringers. Sorry. She looks. Oh, I tried but Dean Simon wouldn't have them anywhere near it. Understandable, of course. Dean Simon didn't say he saw you today. Really? I'm well, quite surprised. I didn't get to speak to him personally, but he did receive my messages and sent one back and rejected my offer of help. I just think if you were truly sad by what happened, you would save face and, and show how much you reject the actions of these so-called extremists by turning up yourself she gestures to the stage. Oh, I believe I did. And as I said, Dean Simon rejected my offer for help. But I understand your mistrust. It's understandable that travelers of your kind perhaps would look a bit disfavorably on me right now. You must be the guardian. Are you known to the others that live in the city? I have made myself known. I'm sentry, guardian mm -hmm. of Solvin. I'm like standing really tall, making sure that I'm bigger than her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's looking up at you slightly. There's no hint of intimidation, no. though. She's just like, oh, I'm pleased. But I only wish to come and offer my thanks. What happened to Mason? What happened to him? I believe that there were another few more of these misguided souls, but they were not as violent as the ones that you had to encounter, I'm afraid. They were aggressive, but after some stern words and making clear that he did not wish to attend, they left. And they have been punished for their indiscretions. These, uh, these Ashbringers. Terrible group. They were tasked with bringing select few to your place. Mm, I requested people from the Abbey. I did not know that they were a member of this cult. Are there any more of them? I, well, I, it is my fear. But... And it is something that I will be investigating. My worry is a poor Hesper man. I forgot his name. <laughs> Dean Simon. Dean Simon was going to be brought against his will. What of the others? Star Mourner Elanis came peacefully. Uh, Rest Keeper Jasna came peacefully. The mayor came peacefully. I, I'm afraid that this is the act of individuals. It was, if you are to imply that. This was at my request. Uh, I am offended, quite frankly. Well, Just trying to piece together the, the truth. A lot of priests were being asked to go to your place. Oh, perhaps you missed my speech earlier. I wanted them to come to say goodbye to the abbot as he was unwell, but also to talk about the future. <coughs> How um, did the abbot die? He's been sick for a few <laughs> weeks now. Slow progress. We tried to heal him, but it did not seem to work. Can I roll another insight? Is that allowed? Um, I'd say that your earlier check was you trying to like read her body language, and there's just she's either very very skilled 
or there's just nothing there. Like she's not hiding anything. There's no, you're watching her eyes and she's just looking at you when she answers. There's she's no, too pro for me. <laughs> she's too, twi you know, she's too just like genuine, it seems to you. She's just like, yes, it's very tragic. And he died peacefully in his sleep, at least. Well, He's been a friend of mine for a long time. Our condolences. I will miss him. Thank you. And I hope this is a sign of greater times for your happy. She just nods. It's like, I believe it will be, now that these things have been <coughs> light. Not much can hide in the light of Palador. And she just nods and bows her head. And then the knights who have just been behind her, like these hulking, like, century-sized knights, just nod their heads and she begins to make her way off. I don't like her. Quill. I thought it was best that I just kept my eyes. You have 20 honestly. without, if it's not based on vision, your passive perception is 20, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You hear her whisper to the knights when she, you, and it's at a distance that you're like, she probably thinks I can't hear her. You hear her just say like, look into where they are, where they're staying. So, that went well, I think. How did that go, everyone? She reminds me of someone. <laughs> Really? Mm. Smasher? No. <laughs> the B word. Uh, oh, Brookstone? Brook he is. I got her. I don't like her. I mean, she seems ge genuine, so but, Brookstone. but I just don't get why she didn't come to the temple if she was that upset about a rival temple. Well, not a rival temple, but Nova, this is because you are too pure and good for this world, and she is absolutely not. I Most just people don't suck. understand. Most people suck. If my worshippers burn down another temple, I would go and at least be there. Again, nice person. Mm -hmm. Horrible person. But she seems... Well, mm, oh, they're yeah. the ones who do seem nice. Was she lying? Most likely. Most likely. Um, it's baffling. This is another Brookstone situation, isn't it? It's Most being Brookstone. Yeah. We're being Brookstone pretty badly. We're being um, Brookstone. <laughs> let's, I love how that's now a verb. <laughs> I love it. It's the B word. <laughs> let's get out of this crowd. Let's focus on the tracker situation. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, the, the crowd is still around and you can still see there's a few guards here. If you want to try and get into the garden, I mean, there are guards patrolling it. You're not normally allowed in the gardens at night. So you're going to have to sneak in. Can we... Malika's here, isn't she? She was around, yeah. Do you want to try and find her? Should we? I mean, I could turn you invisible and you could sneak in. I could do that. But Night we Frost. could ask Nightfrost where he is. Yes, the Master and Esther. Have you seen Breeze recently? Is he still there? He has eluded my sight for now, but he has not left the gardens, I'm certain. I believe that he may be waiting, but... Uh, is he hidden from this crowd? I believe so. Right. In which direction? Um... He gives you a vague direction. Like the opposite side? Uh, not really, because like crowd. the crowd is kind of like, it was such a big crowd. Yeah, I would say he probably would have moved to the opposite side of the gardens, away from the crowd. Can you see like another way in, if we were to just pretend to leave and then come in a different way? What, into the garden? Yes, like hop a wall or something. Uh, there are, fe there's a fence the entire way around, Master Lucius. There are several garden uh, guards positioned at various gates. Mm. The fence is approximately 10 feet. But this is public grounds, right? Why are they guarding it? It's the evening. Ah, yeah, right. It's also, <laughs> it's like the resting place of one of the major queens of Savona. It's, it's like, why is Buckingham Palace closed at night? Well, I just you know. want to see the crown jewel. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. I just want to go see the funny hats at midnight. What's wrong with that? Yeah, it's kind of that deal. So it's, it's open to the public during the day, but at night they're like, we don't want people sneaking in. Um, you, because also I think because you guys went in the mausoleum, it looked like there was like, like the mausoleum itself was very richly made. There were things like beautiful kind of like tapestries and fabrics. There was also like a staff on the wall, like a golden magic looking staff. You kind of think that maybe they're trying to protect that stuff as well. Nightrust. Yes, Master. You have the ability to speak to people telepathically. <coughs> can speak with people around me, yes. But they need to be in proximity to you. Ah, right. So I need to get in there. Are you trying to talk to Breeze? Yeah, through Night Frost. But I need to be there. So you need to be in, pro in a, a, at a rough proximity. So if I go to a wall nearby? It depends on where he is, but yes. 
close to you, possibly, and then we try and find him. If you wish to try that, it's an option. But they don't. You probably only heard the one side, didn't you? Yeah, you were yeah. laughing. Like a rambling lunatic. When did he discover he could do that with Night Frost? Yesterday. Yeah. Oh. Since I've had him. Oh, let go of him. Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday. Cool. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so cool. So, all right, so what's, what's happening? What's the plan? Oh, uh, I could potentially, I need to be close to Night Frost, but he could reach out to Breeze and speak to him. It's worth a shot. Nearby. Is Night Frost able to make his way back to you alone? I'm sure, yes. But we, don't we want him in there? You said yeah. you teleport in the Temple of Hesper. Teleport? That's what you said. You said it last. No, he said that earlier. You, you did teleport in the Temple of Hesper. <laughs> oh, yes. Because he had Night Frost on. I could teleport. I think I need to know where I'm going. <laughs> but if, you, if you're trying to get into the temple, is this a solo mission like the cows? I mean, oh, at the very God, least, if, if Nova can make Sentry invisible, that's Wait, two. Yeah. Breeze won't like me. Yes, you should go in. I should be invisible as Night Frost and reach out to Breeze, but then, oh, Night Frost, could you do voices? I cannot, Master Luke. Piss. <laughs> Sorry. How about we just had the faith that nothing's going to happen? Faith would be good. I think we could use some faith right now. And if something does happen, just shout real loud and we'll come in and risk getting arrested. I could send Echo to come get you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it a try, shall we? Okay. So what's the plan? So the guards around the temple, uh, the garden. Yeah, they're not like, it's not like a ring of guards, like, you know, an unbroken yeah. ring of men and women. <laughs> it's linked to the arm. There is a 10 foot, there's a 10 foot iron fence um, that goes around the whole gardens. Um, with the mausoleum at the very middle. And then every so often, about like three or four points around the plaza, there is a, a fence, like a gate. And there are two guards ver looking very bored. Is it like them. in Ocarina of Time when you break into Hyrule Castle in I, the garden and they're that. all on like a loop where they like walk forward, <laughs> walk back, walk forward? No, this is more like <laughs> there are two guards on either side of each, each gate. Um, there's like a small like little wooden box for them to go into if it's raining. And they just stood there looking really bored. So, okay. so. <laughs> they're probably idly chatting with each other. Sentry needs to become invisible. Okay. I need to bring Night, Night Frost. Could you come back to me? Yes, Master. Deathly. Yes? <laughs> Deathly. If he's <laughs> moving, he does have to make a stealth check. I mean, he could just listen in on the conversation. Okay. But I need him to come to me so I can teleport in. But these okay. are Harvest Guard, aren't they? What? Yes, these are. Yeah, but I'll see. Like I feel like a shadowy like... figure would be weird. No, I know, but M M M M Malika's on our side. If we just tell her, we are like we're kind of troublemakers at this point. No, we, but we, she's very much on our side, and if we just tell her, let's try this first. Okay. Actually, no, we're breaking the law. Let's not. But no, um, okay. So, okay, <coughs> shadow whips um, from underneath the fence, skirts along the ground, and rejoins Lucius's shadow. <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh, <laughs> He's here. I have returned. Hello. Uh, Hi, Night Frost. Did anyone spot you? I do not believe so. Okay. Okay. Do you wish me to remain in shadow form, Master Lucian? For now, yes. Uh, well, what form do you need to be in for the misty step? The cloak. I believe so. Yeah. Mm. Can you cloak form, please? <laughs> Badass. And can this um, <laughs> this teleport? Can it do it to multiple people? Just me. Okay. 30 is the spell Misty Step. 30 feet, Silvery Mist. Might see the Silvery Mist. Right. Let's do it in our cubby hole. Hopefully we can or see... Or in a bush. It. Or in a bush. Mm. Bush. That so would entertain me far more. Sentry needs to be invisible. I can try and climb over. How long do you get? One hour. Oh. Okay. And how do we... I mean, I'm just I'm waiting. literally... Nova's just been holding her hand out like while well, everyone's arguing. Bouncy. Just like... Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, 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 let's do it. Do, woo! Where's she going? <laughs> um, so Sentry turns invisible, you yep. cast a spell. I'm assuming that you would move away from the guards, cast a spell. <laughs> and I feel like we're talking yeah. about yeah. an alleyway. Yeah. Well, you're not an in the gardens yeah. yet, you're out in the yeah. main <laughs> plaza, so you can duck into like in between two buildings and um, cast invisibility. And Is Echo invisible? No. Cool. You could hold him, if you, take, if you hold him, yeah. then he'll be invisible. Okay, cool. Nice. Does Tiangong give you like visual imagery or is it just feelings? 
mostly feelings and, and emotion. And I think basically Tiangong is so splintered at the moment. I, I can't really have a conversation like you do with Night Frost. Oh, by the way, and I, I kind of cut my mouth to Night Frost. I'm like, Night Frost. Talking at Lucius's chest where this yeah. scarf yeah. is. Yeah. Night Frost. I spoke with Tiangong and uh, updated Tiangong about you and, and, and how I'm going to try and reform Tiangong so, so they can help you. And, and I got a feeling of great comfort and, and I also got a sense of direction. So I think I know where the next bit is. So I just wanted to tell you, just, you know, let update you. Thank you, Lady Nova. That is very Do we all hear you. Nova saying this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, okay. you do. Just yeah. whispering at us. So it's like, what, like a minute? <coughs> Okay. You got fifty nine more more of those left. You should probably go get going. Let's go climbing. Yeah. <laughs> Sentry. So, Sentry, do you just go off, or are you going to wait for the others? I'm going to wait for Lucius. Sentry, okay. I'm going to try and teleport back to the place where we saw the tiny little hole that Breeze made. Okay, I'll. I'll that's try quite far into the gardens. Thirty feet will get you beyond the fence, and then that's pretty much it. You'll have to make your way there. Okay, physically. I'm looking here, right, Sentry. I'm going to go beyond the fence. Okay. Just past it, 30 feet, that direction. Try I'm, and meet me there. I'm looking in that direction. I know you can't see me doing it, but I'm, I'm looking in that direction. Try and assist Good. Lucius in finding a place that's going to keep sure. him hidden. Yeah, survival check. Not the middle you of the bush. You make a survival check for me. Um, meanwhile, if you're going to climb over, it's an athletics check for you, Yes, please. 12. 12? 12, 12 is enough to, to um, help him out a little bit. I'll give him a plus two bonus. Oh, I've got a 12. This way. Okay. And so you're just trying to land yourself in a bush so you are hidden. Stealth check. You get a plus two bonus. How much oh, you get? 12. 12? Natural 20. Natural nice. 20. Hi. So, <laughs> invisibility Toy. means that they can't see you. But they can smell you. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, where are you doing this? Are you going to find like an empty bit of fence? Like, where are... <coughs> yeah, I'm going to try and find like Between a... Between gates. Yeah. Between where the two fences. Yeah. Okay. So I'd say that with that and the invisibility, like, you hear Sentry like, clang, bong, like, literally, like, knocking against the iron fence as she Can pulls I herself over. Can I help her up, like, with my strength? You'd have to go right up to the fence, and you'd be oh. there at the fence, like, doing this. So if anybody <laughs> came by, they'd see well, you doing this. Are there any guards within... There's not, but there are still civilians okay, also okay. walking around. I won't do that. So, but Sentry climbs over it. You just hear a lot of noise as she's going. <laughs> and then you hear, like, a, like a crash of, like, crumpling onto a bush. Um, I'll just be like, yeah, so I was cleaning the Temple of Hesper and that was Would like, you not shut the fuck up down there? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, like, closes a window. <laughs> People are trying to work! Sorry! Did that work? Um, Lucius, what are you doing? So you're going to have Misty Step, 30 feet. So you'd probably have to walk close to the gates, like, nonchalantly, like, <laughs> just uh, follow. I still wish it was daytime. <laughs> <laughs> and then you teleport in. Okay, um, and what did you get on the stealth? Uh, natural 20. You got natural 20 with an extra plus two. So yeah, Lucius, like in an instant, you wait almost for like somebody to turn around. You watch like a, a guy walk in the other way, like a when baker. Nova speaks up. Yeah, and then he like looks up at the man yelling at her. And then as that dance, you like whoosh and teleport inside. And you, you appear not in a bush, like you actually managed to land perfectly in like the middle of a bunch of different foliages. So you're not in the middle of anything as well. Um, but you've still got ways before you reach where you were previously. Um, uh, Night Frost can direct you to roughly where he last saw Breeze, but he doesn't know exactly where. So the two of you will have to wander, Sentry. and you can't see Sentry. Yeah. So how Sentry. are you communicating? Or? Lucius, I'm like banging on my arm. Ding, ding, Lucius. Oh, okay. Ding, ding. Right. So I'm here. Night Frost is going to try and guide me back to where Breeze was. Okay. Stay really quiet. Okay. okay. Go from bush to bush. So can you both make stealth checks? Sentry, you'll have advantage. This is more for the noise than anything else. Right. Why did we make 17? the only person Roll Breeze again. is looking for invisible? You've got advantage. Oh, yeah. 21. 18. You <laughs> should get past the guards. Okay. True. Okay. Cynic. So, you begin crawling through these gardens. And whilst during the day they had this peaceful quality to them, these large, tall trees, drooping willows, beautiful flowers, and these statues of this mage-like woman, at night there is a, an unease. There's a chill wind blowing through the town. And as you make your way, the trees form shadows that you're constantly checking. Is that Breeze? Is that Lucius? Is that Sentry? You're never quite sure. And it becomes hard to tell if you're kind of moving in the same directions or at the same speeds with each other. Dark shadows and shapes begin looming around you as you weave through these gravel paths. Soft crunching underfoot. 
eventually you make your way round towards the main steps leading into the mausoleum itself. And you see, sat there, cross-legged, staff resting on his knees. It's a guardian, hood pulled down, but you can see <coughs> the wooden stone metal frame of his arms and his legs. The stone and metal has been darkened, uh, cut, like painted or maybe coated in something. And the wood itself is a very dark walnut wood. So he's very hard to see in the shadows. But he just sits there with this long gnarled staff with a red gemstone in its very head. I mean, he just sits there quietly, head kind of slightly bowed, hood pulled low. He doesn't seem to have noticed you. I'm in the head. Mm -hmm. Tell Sentry that I'm going to hang back, and if she needs something, uh, call for me. Very well, Master Lily. I'll see if she's nearby. Yes, she's not far. Sentry, in your head you hear, Master Lucius says if you encounter trouble, he will not be far, and call out for him. Thank Good you. luck, Lady Sentry. Thank you. Uh, Night Frost. Yes. Another request. Yes. Could you go tell the others that we're in position. The others are now too far. They are out of my range, Master Lucius. You want to see over there? I can go there as my shadow form. And you risk being caught? Yes. And they would not be able to hear me, but I could appear before them and lead them here. Yes. It's okay. Sentry, what are you doing? I'm going to go up to Breeze. <laughs> okay. You know that you can end the invisibility. Like, okay. Nova has control of yeah. the spell, but you could, like, do something to break the invisibility if you want to. Or you can remain invisible. Okay. So it's up to you. I think I'll just break it. Okay. Yeah. So you, like, get in front of him and then... Yeah. Okay. There is a kind of moment where he seems startled. His hand snaps down to the staff. Then he sees the Guardian form. He, like, is like, oh! Sorry, it was the only way we could get in. No, you almost scared me. You must be sentry. Yeah, I, I am, yes. I, you breeze? Pulls his hood back and you see this bald, wooden framed head. But he has almost like um, horns made of metal that kind of curve around like tiefling's horns. They kind of extend from the front of his brow and curve round. But that looks newer. It's almost, it's not the same metal that he's made from. And you can see it's been bolted in, almost like he's done it himself. Like he's created these tiefling horns. Um, and he has uh, two red eyes, like gemstone eyes like yours, um, with a much more kind of stock face. He doesn't have the same faceplate that you have. He has a more normal guardian face, kind of hinged metal jaw and that sort of thing. He kind of pulls it back, like, well, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Scout and the others have spoken quite highly of you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. I understand that you wanted to meet. I was curious to meet you as well. Um, I've heard recently the tracker has gotten worse. Yeah, yes he has. That was um, something I wanted to ask you about. Of course. Well, I'm here to answer your questions, and if you don't mind, I have some questions for you as well. Yeah. Uh, go on, please, you may begin. Um, so, I was told that you could extend Guardian life, or you knew a way of doing that. Mm. Um, well, because tracker's fallen worse. Um, yes. Is that something you could do for tracker? Yes. Yes, and it is something I have spoken to the others about. And I know Tracker himself had some reservations the last time he and I spoke, but the others are very fond of him. And I said that it was always be his choice. But yes, it is something. It is something that I learned from my mentor, uh, a guardian, who rescued me after some non-guardians, well, they nearly killed me. But uh, he rescued me and I've learned a ritual. Something that he discovered years ago now, 20, 30 years. It was an experimental process, a process that would help restore Guardian's matrices, but different to the way that it was normally done. Something new, something that wasn't lost during the sundering. He learned this ritual, he found it uh, in a, an old ruin, and he realized that he could extend not only his life, but other Guardian's lives as well. And so he began reaching out to them, finding guardians nearing their lifespan and offering them this chance. And well, I was nearing my own end, so I took it. I mean, I've, I've, I've existed for nearly 50 years now, Sentry. Well beyond what we normally would. 50 years? 50 more years. Wow. So yes, yes, I can. I can. And I can help Tracker, and I can help any guardian that needs it. It is not... 
we don't publicize it. We don't go around shouting and screaming about it because a lot of people fear us. They fear what we're capable of. We don't age normally. If we can keep this process, essentially we can live forever. Many of the races are jealous of that. And we, we worry what may happen if this technique, this, this ritual, if it got out there. So we do what we can. We find guardians and speak to them and make sure that they're prepared. They, they understand what is required and what may come to them if they take this on board. Does that answer your question? Uh, yes, it does. Um, so, so what is required? What? Well, before then, let me ask you a question. Okay. <sighs> do you care about Guardian Sentry? I've heard from Scout that you travel with some non-Guardians, but, I mean, what was your role? What were you built for? I was built for protecting the royal lineage of Solvin. I was protector of the Queen and Queens after her. And do you feel companionship to your fellow Guardians? I do. I do greatly. I, I served in the forces as well and having a companionship with other Guardians was detrimental to my purpose. Mm. It's just, he kind of stops for a moment. He's like, that's good. We need protectors. Our people are, I don't know if you've traveled much, but in my 50 years, guardians are hunted by some of the non-guardians. They hunt us for parts, for magical research, <coughs> because they fear us, because we represent a time that they don't remember. That scares me sometimes. I mean, even the others here in the city, they've been attacked, they've been tormented. This church of Palador I know is out to get them. I can help them. In terms of what is required, your question that you asked, it is a transference of magical power. I don't know if you know this, but our matrixes, they are concentrated magic. That's what gives us our sentience. We are beings of magic, but that magic takes control of these physical forms, you see. Yeah. So the matrix, I call it fading, when we begin to lose that sense of self. That's why some of us just become nothing, and some of us turn feral. We lose that sense of who we are. So this ritual, it replenishes that magical energy. Okay. And there's many ways, multiple ways that it can be done, but it is a transference of magical energy in, in essence. Okay, and transference from what? From where does it come from? Various sources, it can come from objects, uh, places even. There are some places so steeped in magic that it can be siphoned. There are some creatures that are magical as well. Uh, magical beings, uh, creations of magic, um, spirits, familiars, that sort of thing. Okay. Um... I mean, magic is in all things. There's magic everywhere. There is no end to the sources that it can be drained from, it can be taken from. Okay. Um, and. The, the Prime, I've been seeing a lot about the Prime. Yes. Uh, especially in the last couple of days, um, uh, Tracker had a very vivid, almost like a memory, like almost like he was seeing the Prime. I've seen this, I've seen it myself. The Golden Guardian sends <coughs> to find the Prime. Yes, I've seen it myself, as have many Guardians, the ones that we help are near the end of their lifespan. They all report the same thing, a message to find the Prime. But from my experience, I don't know what it is, whether it is a cruel joke or a spirit or a faulty in our making, I don't believe there is a Prime. Maybe it represents hope, uh, the dream of an afterlife, but from what I've discovered, no such thing exists. And why it encourages us to find them when we are nearing our lifespan, I don't know. I'm afraid I can't help you there. Since conducting the ritual, um, since extending my life, I do not have those visions anymore. Uh, Tracker mentioned during his vision uh, the glass city. I remember something along that line, but I looked and looked and I couldn't find such a place. Okay. I'm sorry. But I don't think, I think that with this technique, Tracker or any guardian who's near in their lifespan doesn't need to worry about the prime. Um, we don't need to rely on some mystical vision. We can make our own future, a future for our race, a proper future. We're dying out, Sentry. If we don't do something, 
Every guardian on Erois will fade away, will become relics, corpses. I don't want that to happen. No, me neither. Although I have seen more than I ever thought I would here in mm. Kelly's Rest. There's... It's quite a town. There are many places like it. Well, if you'd like to assist, I've asked Scout and the others to bring Tracker to... There's a small ruin uh, about an hour outside of the North Gates. Beneath it, there is a tunnel. And in, if you follow that tunnel, it will lead you to a crypt. I've been using it as a sort of base of operations. It's away from the non-guardians. Um, a place to be quiet, to think, and for us to help Tracker. But I would, I prefer not to be around non-guardians when we do it. Um, just because my experience with them has always been very bad. I hope you can understand. Yeah, well, my experience with them, with them has been very good for the most part, so Please. it's unfortunate for you. I think perhaps a little bad luck, but yes. Well, if you want to come and assist, we will welcome you. Okay. Well, thank you, please. He just nods. He's like, no, I'm here to help you. You're one of my kind. And he kind of stands up and he offers a hand. Shake his he, like, takes, his takes your hand. He's just like, we need to look out for each other. He's like, nods. Very well. He bows, pulls his hood up, and then steps back. His form kind of shimmers, <sighs> turns invisible. Yes. Lucius! Can I hear that? Yeah, you can hear. You heard the whole conversation. Oh, uh, no, Cross, tell her. Hello. Hello. Hi. He says hello. <laughs> um, How'd it go? Uh, I've got some funny feelings about Breeze. <laughs> oh, like good ones or bad ones? Very, very mixed feelings. <laughs> well, let's get you out of here first. Let's, let's get have you a out of group here chatty. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, but you're not invisible anymore. No. No. So how do we get you out? I'm panicking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the other people <coughs> to help us think about things. Uh, really just calm us down. Honestly, I'm no, panicking. No, I'm getting I'm panicking now as well. How do I do that? Okay, it's fine. It's going to be okay. I'll send Echo. I'll send Echo. Yeah, okay, send Echo. Okay, I'll send Echo. And then what? Uh, <laughs> he's too late. He's gone. I mean, you know, he's, he's just hovering around. Because you were holding him yeah. before, so now he's just like hovering up in the air. Echo, can you go... Get the others, please. About like, I mean, it's probably taken, the whole conversation took maybe like five, 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes at max. It's about 20 minutes. This little orb like floats over the fence. <laughs> What's his stealth? Do you have his stats? Oh yeah. <laughs> Roll a stealth check for him for me actually. Hey bud. So let's, let's see how well he rolls stealth first. <laughs> Ding. Uh, <laughs> ding. <laughs> oh, that's five. <laughs> so you guys see uh -oh. <laughs> Echo floats over the, the fence, but then just kind of like floats along the plaza and just happily bobs along. And one of the guards is like a guard further down, like looks over and sees his little floating eye. And he's like, points at it. And they look curiously and they begin making, like one of them begins making his way over as Echo just comes and f finds all of you. And it just is like. <laughs> Do we see the guards like following it? You see the guard, yeah. and he's like, "Oi, you lot, what's that thing?" Uh, Good question. Oh, hey, hey! I'm just gonna call it. Is that yours? Yeah, it's a it's a construct I made. Like, Look, well, you it's... shouldn't be having it flying around the guardians. Sorry, They're off limits. I lost control. I, I promise. <laughs> oh, I'm actually good at deception. Ooh. Uh, what's nine plus thirteen? Thirteen. He's like, he like looks at you. He's like, all right, well, look, clear off. You shouldn't be around this area anyway. Okay, sorry, sir. He like watches you. Go on. He's just, like watching you leave. I just, I kind of cuddle Echo, like, like, it, like I'm collecting a toy or something, and I'm just like. So Echo's beyond your telepathy range. So he's <laughs> on his own intelligence now, and he's like, you feel him tugging you to the fence, like he's like. Woo! <laughs> he's like pulling you like, you're like mm, mm, and he's quite light, you can hold him back. Give me a strength check. Because <laughs> I just realised that Nova's not very strong. No, she's not. What's, what's Straight up strength? strength. Uh, she's seven, I could notice minus two. It might be in your thing, but... Eleven. Uh, Nine. Nine. Nine? Okay. Three. Okay, so he's got a strength of three. Yep. Okay, so he's pretty weak, so yeah, you're probably fine. <laughs> so you're like mm -hmm, holding him back as he's like, and I'm like, can't Echo just play along now? 
he just settles down. Oh, like, oh okay. Yeah. He's, he's an intelligent creature. Yeah. He knows, like, he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll get back to her in a second. Does that mean they're in trouble? Does that mean trouble? I, I'd so, by the way, if, like, unless you're going to try and, like, this guard will, like, like, yeah. come on, move along. And he's, like, ushering you out Okay, the let's streets. leave. We should get yeah. away from here anyway. Start trying to walk away. So... So you guys are just in this garden <laughs> by yourself. Echo's um, gone now. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should try and... Sure, that means trouble. Get to an exit point of some kind, or at least try and get some... So while those two are doing this, out. you guys are out we're on the street. We're going to walk around. I, I, I don't... Uh, so we're out of, like, I guess... You're kind of, like... Walk I mean, the, the plaza is public space, but you're kind of edged out of the alleyway that you were hiding yeah. in. And, like, come on! Get on your business and like set you on the road and is watching where you're going like a policeman. Like, yeah. you can't stay here, mate. Come on. Yeah. Okay, you know, I guess now we go into the other side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk around. Yeah, we just walk around. Just loop around to yeah, the sure. like, I don't know what it means. Uh, like... Echo, good or bad? Uh, um, okay. One <laughs> can't communicate. He's okay. just okay. One blip, one beep for good, two beeps for bad. Ooh. So good, they're they're fine. How's Sentry? Ooh. How's Lucius? Ooh. How's Breeze? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Do we have to get them out? Ooh. I think that was a yes, because that's good, right? Like, good How's yes. my left eye? Is that the broken one? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's brilliant. a good test. Good test. Okay. Um, well, they're fine. They're fine. Like I think note, we just need to get them. One out boop, then. good. Two. Two, boop. two boops, bad. Yeah. Uh, We've well, learned communicating we're with that. <laughs> we're training him. We're training him. Roll over. Do they need our help getting out? Okay, so they need our help getting out. Oh, she's probably not invisible anymore. Oop. <sighs> uh, I mean, if I... Can, what are we going to do from right here? If I, I got can, nothing. I got a hammer, dude. A hammer! We could distract the guards and get in. If I can, if I can touch her, I can make her invisible. That doesn't help at all. I mean, uh, if you get, you can just walk up to the fence, like, and like, it depends. It's just that you have to do it stealthily so that other people don't notice what you're doing. Unless wait, you want to get called out for being suspicious. You made Sentry invisible, and when she touched Echo, Echo became invisible. Yes. So make Echo invisible. The reason that she can make well, Echo when so this, when yeah, she it's, it's it because has Echo it. counts as an object when she has <coughs> one person. Oh. Echo can't carry Sentry as an object. No, I thought okay, I thought it was uh, anything in contact no. with Sentry. That it's, it's because Sentry counts as a carried object. Can That's you make Domino you effect. invisible, <laughs> and you can go in and do something else magical? If we, I, I don't think getting more people in there no, is the idea. No, that's <laughs> not well, magical. <laughs> but if you were well, invisible we're getting out. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we'll just wait here until dawn. I that's an idea. Okay, I I'm gonna cast. To wait. I should point out, just as a thing, like Breeze would have reminded you, they're meeting Breeze at midnight. So you've got like an hour or two hours or something. Are they within They're meeting Breeze at the mausoleum at midnight. Uh, at the, no, the yeah, they're going to these tunnels at, the, at midnight. Oh, okay. Midnight, yeah. Wherever they're doing this ritual. Mm -hmm. How about we run out? We don't know that though. We could run, uh, like, ah, how do we get in here? Kind of. Yeah. I can. Yeah, maybe, yeah, no. maybe, maybe. Yeah, if you guys have come up with, if you guys come up with a plan, and you want to do it, just tell me. Be like, I mean, yeah, I, like, I, oh, we've really loud. Maybe. I've been where they so are. Are they within 120 feet? They also What's that? 120 feet. Test. Test. Oh, that's true. If you go up to the very edge of the fence and you luck out in that you're in the same area they are, yes. I can make things levitate. But you need to be like right up at the fence. What was your plan? Do you want to Message. just walk walk close to the fence, drop your bag, and oh no, we have to pick all this stuff up. Linger. Yeah. Distract. Yeah. I'm bad at this. I got a hammer, dude. Hammer. That's it. I could cast suggestion on a guard. I don't think we want to meddle with people. Any Shut up. <laughs> like I can see you there like. <laughs> Echo, I can you send messages? Boop, boop. That's bad. That's bad. Um, I could cast suggestion on a guard and get the guard to bring him out. What? And then mm. arrest them? No, just but be like... But if that doesn't work, you've just told the guard that they're both in there. Yeah, I know, right? Yep. Meanwhile, let's try and stealth out. I yeah. reckon we could do We could do this. <laughs> we got in, we right? Yeah, in. exactly. Okay. Yeah, so we can get out. So you're going to try and stealth your way out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's two checks. Stealth checks and acrobatics <coughs> checks to climb over the fence. So Ooh. stealth checks first. So disadvantage 19. for you, Rhiannon, because you have heavy armor. 19. 19. 11. 
11, okay. And then athletics checks to climb the fence. Uh -oh. 16. Okay, 16's enough. Lucius? Eight. Wherever we are, can so, we see? Why are you well, climbing? let's find from, out. Why are you climbing? Me. Katie, why don't you roll a d6 deck. for me? I haven't actually. I'll pick oh. a number between one and six. If you roll the same number I'm thinking of, that's the same region of the gardens that they're in. Five. Oh, that's a shame. Um, <laughs> My number so, changed. No, it didn't change. So I'm not going to do that, I Chris know. Trot. I know. So, uh, <coughs> you, so Sentry and Lucius, you begin sneaking your way through, and you quietly make your way through the, you know, the gardens. Don't seem to alert oh, anybody. It's so you make your way to a, a portion <laughs> of the fence, and Sentry, you grab on. Um, in fact, you both kind of leap up, grab onto the things, and begin to haul yourself over. Sentry, as you land on the other side, you like clang the fence, a loud ding kind of erupts out. We hear that. <laughs> Lucius, part of your like outfit gets caught, yeah. like all the tassels, the white Sentry. tassels of the outfit are caught, caught on the thing. Okay, you you're like trying to get off of it. How about panicking? Go um, from as you as you're starting to pull him off, like he's clearly still half on the fence. Uh, two guards from a fence <laughs> nearby <laughs> gay point to tear come down. They're clothing. like, Oi, you lot, what are you doing? Stay right there!" <laughs> and they start advancing on you with these kind of like no, no, hard no bites. No, <laughs> he, <laughs> he he dropped he dropped uh, his. Um, I dropped my belongings on the fence. We're trying to get them off. So I'm just trying to get it back. He, How did you drop them on the fence? It's a ten foot iron we fence. We playing catch. <laughs> 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 Uh, 13. 13. No, no, none of this right. Come on, get down from there. And like one of them's like, you back off, Guardian. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to help this. And then the other one's like, he like looks up at you. He's like, oh, I've got to get him down. <laughs> How do I get down? He's like, he's like, I can right, carry on helping if you want me No, to. you stay right oh. there. And then two, the, the, both of the guards now are like basically trying to get Lucius off, we, but we also manhandle him. Uh, Quill hears it with his passive perception. Yeah, that way. Like you can see that. <laughs> They're, kind of, they're a little bit further, like they're quite a far ways down and around, but you hear Lucius like, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, yeah, Echo, Lucius. echo. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Um, so you, you begin making your way around. They eventually get Lucius down, but they are basically like putting your arm behind your back. They're like, right, well, you're coming with us to the local barracks. You as well, Guardian. It's, it's a misunderstanding, I swear. We fell asleep. What do you mean you fell asleep? Well, you fell asleep. No, no, that was our <laughs> earlier idea. Your Can earlier I... idea? <laughs> what do you mean? And then, right, you come in, and right then the at corner. this point, like you come around and see them being led away towards the <laughs> barracks. <laughs> Say to Echo, Echo, fly into the cart. <laughs> not hard, but like just. He's not very strong. I know. But I'm just going to run after. And I, uh, so I'm going to run after Echo and be like, oh no, my toy! <laughs> okay. So Echo, like. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and starts flying forward. The guard like looks at it curiously as it kind of, he doesn't really like crash yeah, it, he just bumps just like into it, him. Yeah. You then come sprawling afterwards. And I'm just like gonna be like a big hot mess, like tripping up and like, oh, I'm so sorry officer, I just lost control of my toy, I'm so sorry, I Wait, just oh, decided look, I'm... Fine, get lost, we're dealing with something right now. And they're like, come on you two. Oh, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Echo just starts hovering near Sentry now. He's beep. It's the ball we were trying to throw on the oh, bed. Oh, it's the ball! Yeah, we, oh, he's come back! It's ah, come back. you found it! Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you for finding the toy! They were helping me. They, they just, like, they look at each other, shake their head, and they're like, oh, come on with us. All right. Where are we going? To the barracks. I'm innocent! <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't really know how it can do anything. I got a I got, got I could suggest. <laughs> I you know, there's two of them. Well, I'll, try. I'll give you five minutes of a break huh. to figure out what you're going to do. Because it's time for a break. <laughs> Tom's dead. Uh, Tom's up. You can help, Quill! How? Uh, How? Set yourself on fire! <laughs> We're going to take a five minute break and we'll be back in five. So See, uh, See where this goes. <laughs>
Hello, welcome back to High Rollers. Uh, the party have just been arrested for trying to <laughs> break into or out of the uh, mausoleum gardens. They're not quite sure which. Uh, Lucius I can't handle how funny she's finding this. Lucius and Sentry <laughs> are both being uh, ushered away by a pair of guards, a pair of harvest guards. Uh, as Nova and Echo have just rounded the corner and collided into them, uh, followed by <laughs> Ayla and Quill behind, despairingly. Mummy and Daddy. Yeah. 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 Um, and so, yeah, I mean, these guys are going to march you off to the Harvest Guard barracks for okay. questioning and possibly fine, but you're not sure how long that'll take, so what do you want to do? Look, look, I'm very, very wealthy, <coughs> as you can see. I wouldn't yes. possibly be having a need of doing anything untoward in the... in the gardens so how about we just make this easier on each other you know and just give you some of the good stuff i mean gold and uh we'll just separate our ways and we'll just he like literally he's like phil do you hear this i do hear that steve <laughs> i think that this man is trying to bribe two members of the harvest guards that's a serious crime steve i know it is phil i mean what kind of i mean it would need to be a rather large sum i think for us to forego our our godly vows I agree. Steve, Phil, you seem like very reasonable men. You do. Yes. Century we are. Agrees. And Sentry can see through souls. I can. I see your <coughs> souls. They look very good. Yeah, tasty. Mm. Uh, but what sum would you mean? I'd be very respectful sum, I, as I assume. We think for a second. They eye you up. They look. They actually look at like Sentry's battle axe. No sign of blood. I don't imagine they were up to anything too bad in there. What were you trying to get in there for, anyway? You and a guardian? I was trying to get a lovely flower for my high elven wife. He was. Yeah. He's got quite a big crush on her. But they only grow in the gardens. Exactly. At night. They're beautiful. I didn't, we had a and then they them. die in the morning. They, like, whisper <laughs> saying to each other, like, I'm probably under there. Okay. Tell you what, the fine would probably be... 15 gold. <gasps> so you can pay... I can't oh, afford Steve. that. <clears throat> Steve. That's going to be all my savings so for my... Money. Oh, shouldn't be breaking into the gardens then, should you? Can I throw <coughs> the urgy the sound of the fence rattling 30 feet behind them? The rat, like a, like a something hitting against it, like yeah. a dong. Yeah. Yeah? I mean, they'll glance over. Okay. Huh? Is there any more of you in there? No. Can I form a turgy like someone rustling through the leaves now? Funny. Well, I was like, shut up. You're lying, and now you're all right. He's just, uh, grumbles. He's like, right, all right, Phil, stay here with him. All right. One of them trots over towards the fence. You can see him trying to peer through. We'll give you 12 gold right now. You don't have to share it with Steve. Steve's my best mate. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can share everything with him. We've been on the we've been harvest guards together since we were kids. Twenty gold. That's no, it can happen. be thirty gold now. So fifteen <laughs> oh, no. for me and Steve. God, I'm so bad at this. I've never been arrested before. Look, fifteen gold each. We'll let it slide. Could I thaumaturgy to make it sound like the guy that's at the fence now looking through? Thaumaturgy is, the... is not minor illusion. It can't replicate voices. You can make vague sounds with it. All right. Him. Or thing. you can boost your own voice, but you All can't right, do that. Yeah, you can't. It's not minor illusion. Minor like, illusion you can create. Um, I can apparently do ominous whispers. You can do ominous whispers, but they are so not could I have discernible a... as an individual's voice. So could I have <coughs> a whisper <coughs> whispering that's voice. just, so not even like a whisper that sounds, it's just a whisper, but it's someone saying like, hey, come here or something like that. I mean, yeah, but uh, yeah, you can do that. It's from the from where the guy that's looking through the, the fence is right now. <laughs> What's your spell saving throw? Um, it's a, oh, this is Bard, so 12. Okay, he's still, he's like, huh? He like looks over, he's like, did you say something, Steve? I didn't say anything, Phil. Damn it. That's just a <laughs> That's two of them. Okay, okay, and then we'll get on yeah. our way. Oh, yeah. The honest, honest harvest guard, Stephen. Is it Stephen? Or is it just Steve? I never asked, he's always just Steve. Is it? Yeah. You never asked your, never That's mind. what he said, it's what he introduced himself as, why should I? Oh, guess? you're Phil, sorry. Oh, Phil. My apologies. You two look very similar. Are you related? No, people have said that about us, yes. <laughs> we are just good friends. Nice, well. Are there any windows or doors within 30 feet of me? <laughs> 30 feet? No. 
you'd have to go onto the other side of the street because you're right by the fence side. It's about 60 feet. I mean, we've been in the gardens. No. Can I just be counting out 30 gold while sure. all this... Yeah, it's okay. It okay. yeah. sounds like Sentry's uh, got it. Okay. Sentry like it's, pulls out like some coins. This is my... But, yeah. So Ooh. 45 in total. All right. Consider it fine paid and written up. It is yours. But if we find out that anything else is going on in there, I'm going to come looking for you. What, like a, a cult of fire worshippers? Why would you say it's that? Like, Look, it, now it, I need to. I'm going to determine randomly why if Steve or Phil <laughs> are members of the Ashbringers. What? Oh my god! Oh my wow! Goodness. This is like a, a very like you can't just go around throwing that out because this town oh, there is a lot of people that right <laughs> this is a split so town. When you say it's Ashbringers, like you mean like, Palador? <laughs> well, yeah, like Palador, but okay. the a set the the part of Palador that is very what like anti foreigner <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh shit! <laughs> You're fine. Yeah. Um, it's been oh. a very difficult day for, for us. Oh nice. no, my ball is going away! Help! <laughs> he just looks, he's like, you need to be careful who you say that stuff to. I, I know. Don't, I, don't like, I don't like what they're up to either. But there's a lot of people here that see eye to eye with those sorts of people. Terrifying. Yeah. He just All right. Nods. He's like, all right, go on, off you go. Thanks, uh Thank you, officer! Bill. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Nods. Steve. Say hi, to, say hi to Steve. Did you see something over there? He's like, I swear I could hear rustling around here, but I can't see anything. Kind of breeze. It's been too long, mate. We need to get off shift. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Bye, have a beer and some sleep. Bye. I'm assuming you guys have left. <laughs> yeah. Bye. They don't cheerily wave goodbye. They're like, fucking leave. <coughs> we don't want anyone to know that you bribed us. Like, go on. <laughs> Good. Well. Great. We did it. <gasps> How was it? Okay. So I'm going to be honest. I am a little bit pessimistic about the whole thing. I mean, it sounds fantastic, but it's one of those it sounds too good to be true situations. Right. And I'm, I'm just a bit wary. Are you being Brookstoned? I don't, I don't know. I don't think But that's so. how we might be, because we didn't know with Brookstone, mm. and he was. Exactly. We didn't know with the Abertess, and she I, is. Yeah, We don't exactly. know that yet. So we can, I understand. Yet. Yeah. Um, so he's performing a ritual in about an hour from now, just outside the North Gates on, um, on, on Tracker. So he said that I can come and be a part of it, but the ritual uses a magic energy of some sort. It harvests magic energy to add lifespan to the Guardian's matrixes. Uh, so Breeze has been alive for 50 years, oh. which is more than double my own lifespan. And so it's it amazing. Works, it works. I think, according to him. According to him, it Can works. Can you tell his age? Uh, not really, no. He just but, looks like another So he just Guardian. said it. He just said it. I'm not exact. This is why I what? said it's one of those too good to be true things. I, We'd love for it to be true. I would. Has he done this on other Guardians? He said that he has, and he really? said that it worked. So where are they? Why haven't we heard of other Guardians living beyond 50 years? He, I don't, he, he doesn't like, he doesn't like people that aren't Guardians either. He's had bad experiences with non-Guardians. I mean, keep in right. mind that until you came to Kelly's Rest, most of you had never met a Guardian. Yeah. Mm. They're very rare. It's not common for you to meet them in the first place. Um, and if you see one at a distance, there's no there's no way of aging them. It's not like a human who you can physically say, oh, they look about blah, blah, blah. Damn, blah. girl, you old. Yeah. So they take a lot, he takes a lot of magic and he yes. puts it in your matrix. Yes. And that extends your life. Yes. So your matrix is magic. Yes, it's a concentrated form of magic. Can I just like acid splash you and, and do the same job? It's probably I some form know. of spell that converts the energy from your magic or whatever magic into magic that is compatible with Sentry's matrix. But then the matrix is compatible with the matrix while he's murdering guardians and taking the, their life for his own life. I'm just being really, really, really negative at this point, but I'm, I'm just saying. This this is, I'm just saying. This, this, is, this is why I needed to talk to you guys about it, because I know you guys have very good observations about these kinds of things. Well. This isn't a one-time-or-nothing deal, is it? How about you go and observe how it works on Tracker, 
And if it's successful, then go ahead with it. I'm worried about Sentry. Exactly like what Ayla said, what if I go to observe and either he, I don't know, absorbs Tracker's magic to extend my life or takes my magic to extend Tracker's life or he maybe has some other like means of taking it? Like what if he's a really bad person and we don't know? Oh, and he kills all the other Guardians. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure he's That was not. one option. I, I mean, I'm not saying that's true, but... Now I'm worrying about well, that. I don't really like the idea of sending Sentry on her own to some ritual that we don't know what's happening. I don't happening. like that he doesn't like anyone else being there. Yeah, why doesn't no. he like non-guardians? Because he's, he, according to him, non-guardians have hunted guardians before and taken parts and uh, killed many of them. Well, he's um, had a traumatic past then. Yeah. Which is understandable. I mean, we've had our fair share of in favorable opinions. Most people hate me. It's fine. I Look at the Ashbringers. We don't hate they you. don't like others. You don't. Yet. And exactly, the Ashbringers have a very similar opinion about... Where does he get this magic from? Is it a specific kind of magic? Did he say where he got it? <coughs> no. Um, he said he learnt it from... Uh, someone taught it to him. A mentor. But did he say where he takes the magic from? He said he can take in? it from different forms, from cities, from from magical items. Uh, what if he can take it from magical people? What if he takes magical? I mean, Lucius was able to connect with an echo before. He was able to connect to you at one point. Yes, but not all of them. No. Just a certain few. This uh, is why I'm worried. What if he performs a ritual and suddenly somebody dies or something because their magic's been taken or... This is, uh, this is going to go ahead right anyway. Yeah. So yes. how about you turn up, but you don't get seen. You okay. forget to turn up, but observe we observe. From a, dif from a distance. Yes. Scout's going to be with him. Yes. Tracker's going. Some of the other guardians will be with him. So there's going to be multiple guardians there regardless. But if they all get, you know, absorbed, well, all that's become... what I mean. And then tra there goes Tracker's purpose. So even if Tracker's life is extended, then his family are gone. Then and... how long have they known Breeze? Um, I don't. I can't remember. I don't know. Um, a little while. Well, really? They've been passing through quite a bit. Yeah, but they don't have a particularly strong opinion of it of him. But if he's been trying to gain their trust this whole time to do this. Maybe it's, it's a lot of effort. Happen. But it hasn't worked on Tracker. Yeah. If he is trying to gain their trust. But now we're at the point where Tracker can't make decisions for himself, so his family have done it for him. So he doesn't have to fight it anymore and he can do it now. Where is he planning on absorbing the magic from for I this ritual? I don't know. There's a lot of unanswered questions. The only questions can be answered by going and seeing for ourselves, but not being a part of it. But we put the other guardians at risk. Maybe I could go invisible and see and... What if they use that magic? What if it's all just a magic in an area? I like how Lucius talks himself out of things. Like, we're like, we should do this. But what if this? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's, it's just very funny. I find it very funny. Well, I, I, can, I, can, I can leave Echo with you guys again and go and observe. And if something happens frost. to me, Echo <clears> can <throat> let you guys know something's gone wrong. We well, can jump in if needed. Could you vouch for one of us to accompany you? I could, I could try. If he truly cares about you, then he would respect your wishes. But then it would mean putting... Well, in that case, it should be me because I got no magic. But it's more that I'm curious to see this ritual. Yes, but you have a lot of magic. You, you have, also a, have, you have a dagger. Tiangong. That, yeah. If he's going to draw magic from anywhere, it would be an eternal. True. Mm. Same as Night Frost. Um, then we've got Starbane 2. Breezes? Hmm? Breezes Starbane 2? Just one Tiangong away. It seems like a bit of a leap. I mean... But what if? <laughs> 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 True. All of these theories are a bit of a leap because he's withholding a lot of information right now. We're running out of time. It's an hour away. Uh, how far is this place? It's just beyond the north gate. Okay. Well... We don't get anywhere by not doing anything and talking about it. So let's do let's, something. Let's go. Let's 
Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Well, an hour will count as a short rest because you're just walking. So you can have Ooh. a short rest if you desperately need, if you gain anything back. I know Not Kim really. does. <laughs> Primarily, you'll get your spell slot back yeah. for invisibility. Okay. So you're going to head towards the north gate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we are. Okay. It doesn't take you long to make your way along North Street and you journey about an hour outside of the North Gate following the Golden Road that leads to Gold Throne. There are a few late night merchants coming and going, but at midnight, most of it has faded away. <clears throat> the guards check you as you leave, kind of keep an eye on you. But soon that falls away and the city begins to kind of fade into the background as you see the countryside riding out before you. The sky is perfectly clear, there are no clouds. And you see the multicolored hue of the cradle, this barrier that protects Eroes overhead, and the twinkling of the many, many stars beyond it, all giving their bright luminosity down, casting the world in a shades of black, gray, and silver. About an hour outside of the town, you find the ruins Breeze mentioned crumbled old ruin, perhaps maybe a watchtower or a keep. You find Scout and Carpenter uh, and uh, Chipper um, carrying a conscious but somewhat fatigued and confused tracker. Um, Scout is holding up his arm best as he can from his smaller position. Chipper kind of has an arm, you know, underneath uh, tracker, so he's kind of carrying him. And Scout is pulling up what appears to be a trapdoor. Built into the earth, like a hidden trapdoor. He pulls it up and he looks over. He's like, oh, you guys made it. Did you speak with Breeze? Oh, uh, yeah, we did, yeah. Great. We're going to go meet him now. It's um, Chipper and I are going to take him down there. He's kind of with it, but yeah, he's, you can tell he's drained. He's, we've never seen him like this before. You can see that he's like looking around, but Tracker just seems almost like asleep or half asleep, but... Has he been like this all day? Yeah, he woke up and he didn't remember the stuff that we saw. Um, he just says that he, it's like everything's dark or he's underwater or something. He can't really see good or hear good. Okay. We're worried that maybe this is kind of the last, <laughs> last few stages. Um, yeah. How long have you known Breeze? A few months, maybe, he would come by every now and then, have sit with us, talk with us, uh, yeah. Okay. And has he recently gained any magical items that you know of? I don't think so, no. I never, we've seen him with his staff before. Hmm. Okay. Don't know if that's, don't know if that's it, but, uh, yeah, and he told us that there is uh, some sort of magic transfer or something. I didn't really understand it, though. I don't know much about magic. Uh, are you sure it's okay for you guys to be here? I mean, I know he doesn't like non-guardians, so... We're going to hand back and All stay right. hidden. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure if you guys stay here or something, or... Uh, yeah, but you're going to come, Sentry, right? I've been invited to come and have a look. Oh, that's great. That's great. We, we'd like to have you there, so... Okay. Okay. Um, be really, really, really careful. I will. Uh, uh, Quill. Um, sure it's going to be fine. Lucius? Would you be able to use Detect Magic while the ritual's going on? I can use it, but I'll be out here. Would that How give far you into this tunnel is it? Did he say it was a while underground? Do you know? I think it leads back into the city, uh, and it goes underneath the temple of uh, Kilara, the goddess of death. It's an old crypt, he said. It's, uh, it was, they used to use it for preparing like the bodies of the royal family and stuff. Hmm. So That's quite a, way. a fair distance to be away from us. We can't. We have to go. observe. If, how far is your detect magic? Uh, no. From what I can uh, see, it's. There mm. has to be a way that you could vouch for one of us. To, I just. Yeah. I'm sure if it's one of you guys, I mean, I'll I'll vouch for you too. Are there any other temple entrances <coughs> to that particular crypt in the city? I don't or is know. This the only way in? I mean, maybe I guess through the temple itself. Seems like traveling an hour outside the city to travel an hour back inside the city. It's, it's a bit suspicious. It's a bit odd. I figured that it was just because uh, I think maybe like you'd have to go through the temple itself. I know Breeze doesn't like uh, non-guardians, so have this you, way seems probably quiet. Have you seen this ritual before? Nope. We could go Thought to the temple and find our way in that way. 
Could I come with you, Sentry? If, if you two were to vouch for me, I promise I won't interfere. I just want to observe. I, the very I don't mind. Yeah, go with them. I'll keep an eye on you. I'll keep, if anything happens, if anything starts happening that is unusual, then I'm here to help you as well. Or we'll get out if there's something going on that... I don't think anything that strange is going to happen. We've, we've just had some unfortunate situations in the past. We can't help but be a little bit... No, that's okay. Yeah, it makes sense to be... It makes sense to be wary, but... What if we just... Well, I can tell her? Breeze really cares about Guardians. So I don't think he's going to hurt any of us or track her. I mean, I'm not going to interfere or anything. I'm, I'm here no, for I you, Sentry. I just want to see what the ritual is and, mm -hmm. and see if I recognize it or... Sure. Yeah. ...how it happens. Would you be okay with leaving <coughs> Tian Gong in our care while you go in? Unfortunately, I don't think I could do any magic or anything if... Something... What if it accidentally gets caught up in the whole magical transference? Could we not just follow behind in this tunnel at a distance? We could. I'm Honestly, worried we not. I mean, I'm worried as as we won't find an end. I think you just, as long as you don't spook Breeze, you know, just hang back. All right, we'll hang back in the tunnels. Okay. I kind of get it. You know, sometimes we've been, you know, people aren't always nice to us. And from the stuff he's told us, I mean, a bunch of non-guardians almost killed him a couple of times, used him for sport and stuff. So, um, yeah, I kind of understand it a little bit, but I'm sure if you just stay out, you know, don't just stay hidden, you know? Okay. We'll stealth on behind, just like the gardens. Yeah, sure. All right, Chip, are you okay with Tracker? He's like, yeah, I got him, Scout. It's fine. Uh, where, where are we? Are you going to see that Breeze guy? Yeah, that's right, Tracker. We're going to see him. I don't know. It's like, we're just going to talk to him, okay? We don't have to do anything if you don't like it. All right. It's kind of hard to see, though. And you just hear him sort of muttering to himself. Um, you descend down into the tunnels. <coughs> they are... Very smooth, probably not carved by hand, but carved by magic. Perfectly smooth, and the stone and earth that it cuts through, there are veins of twinkling crystal. It's almost like stars themselves. Every 50 feet or so, carved into the tunnel is an archway. And on the archway, there are symbols and pictograms that show the journey of death, being led by Kalara into the afterlife. Um, a small lantern hangs from each one with a magical light glowly dim, uh, softly, glow, softly glowing inside that casts the tunnel into a silvery light as you begin making your way down. Uh, as the tunnel begins to close closer, you can see up ahead that there is a, a larger, more yellow, fiery-like light, um, maybe about 200 feet or so further away. Um, the tunnel, it takes you about, yeah, another hour to kind of make your way through this tunnel back towards the city. Um, and you begin to see carved reliefs of a hooded woman um, wearing breastplate with a, a, a mantle of flowers carrying a lantern carved into the sides of the, the corridors and things like that. Uh, at what point do you guys stop following Sentry and Nova? Uh, oh, oh, do we stop following Sentry and Nova? Um, yeah. Because you said that you wanted to hang back. Well, could I, in the journey, be ritual casting tech magic as well? Sure. Um, yeah. Ten minutes. So I guess by the time we're there, it's last ten minutes, yeah. Yeah, but it's um, only what's within visual range, right? Uh, 30 feet of me. Just within 30 feet, you get a sense of any magic. Okay. Yeah. Um, by the same token, could I cast ritual cast identify? Identify is on a specific to, thing. Like. But You'd have to have I, a, an object or... Right, so I can't cast it and uh, touch something. No, I think it's you cast it then and then. I have on to the have thing. it there, yeah, yeah. I believe so. You can't hold spells. <coughs> like, so the, the Quill's casting it. Because it's ritual Is casting, it's... He, doesn't, he just activates, he looks around, yeah. he's like, okay. And I believe it lasts like a minute. Uh, I think it lasts ten. Ten minutes, so he's just yeah. then walking the rest oh. of the ten minutes with it. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. Um, you get very faint pings off each lantern. There's a very tiny amount of light, the magical light. It's not like a natural flame. It appears to be a natural magical light yeah. from the, the lanterns themselves. Um, but yeah, so you, well, you want to get within about 30 feet of where you can see that the tunnel kind of ends and begins to open up into this into this crypt. Yeah, so I suppose I can really see there, Sentry with the detect magic and, and tracker and scout. Mm -hmm. You would see um, the usual, like you'd see Nova's. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, um, yeah. Can I, before we split Say up? that when you do look, tracker's matrix is dimmer. 
Oh, okay. Dimmer, much okay. dimmer than sentries and, and the others. Yeah. Bef so it's literally drained magic. Um, Before we split up, mm -hmm. can I turn to Quill and say, I trust you with this. If anything happens, okay. give them back to me. If anything happens to me, the next piece of Tiangong, I think, is north of Gold Throne. I can't take Tiangong from you. And I'll hold out Tiangong. It's just for now. I mean, it's me? It's just for now. If, if magic, if this whole thing requires magic, I can't risk that for Tiangong. Okay, I mean, it makes Hopefully sense. this is just a precaution. Sure. Um, Hopefully this is nothing, but Lucius was right. Well, we can rush in, and hopefully you're a good catch. Yeah, <laughs> definitely really good at sports. Good, okay, Are I'll take Are you sure you don't want me to go in? I don't have anything. If you don't have anything, though. I got a hammer. I just wonder if it's worth giving to another magic user, or... Put it this it's way, to you. if something happens, we need you coming and whacking. Yeah. Quill can come in to give me Tiangong. I'm really okay. good at weaseling okay. my way through. Uh, I'm assuming okay. you have this conversation quite quiet. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll just give you okay. Tiangong. So, okay. <laughs> you're, holding, you're holding on to Tiangong. Here's my magic dagger. Okay. Like holding I know it it's not. Well. <laughs> so normally, Kim, there's no Here restrictions when you casting magic, even if you're parted from your Hexblade weapon, but because we've made this special thing with Tiangong, you can cast cantrips without him as long as he's within a certain distance. <coughs> but any of your other big spells, I think you have to be holding yeah. him. Just because the way, it's it's not how the class works, but I think for well, our story that I we're building with like, your yeah. character, because she didn't have magic before no. she got him, it makes sense that she needs him there yeah. to fuel her spells. It's kind of like your arcane focus kind of thing. Yeah. So it's the same for like Lucius, if he loses arcane You got focus anything and else? Stuff. No. Yeah, Nothing. So. Uh, oh, I have uh, a crossbow. Okay. And if I'm still able to do my cantrips, I've got good old Eldritch Blast do. You got a crossbow. That's, mm -hmm. that's good enough until we can get Tiangong back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and keep Night Frost in your mind at any point, so... Oh, okay. Yep. Best okay. thing. Okay. Feel free to talk as if I'm next to you or so we're next to you. I just like look up and I go, hi Night Frost, in my head. Mm -hmm. Hi Night Frost. Uh, yeah, as long as he's within range, you communicate telepathically. I think you have to speak out loud for him to hear that. Oh. I think Lucius is the only one that can hear him in the mind. Just kind of whisper. Hi, Night Frost. Hello, Lady Nova. Night Frost, just keep us connected. I will try my best. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, I think we're going to say about 100 feet range for Night Frost telepathy. <coughs> so, as long as you're within 100 feet of you, you can communicate uh, with others. He can speak to them and stuff. But he, the other people have to speak out loud, okay. but he communicates to them telepathically. Okay. Um, okay. A boring dagger. So, you are, so Sentry, you're going to go in first, and you're with Tracker, Chipper, and Scout, yep. and then Nova, you're going to go in with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to have Nova come in behind you or next to you? She'll come next to me. Okay. So, the two of you make your way into the actual main crypt. <clears throat> you can see that the crypt beneath the Temple of Kalara is, must primarily be used for the preparation of bodies um, before they are burnt or before they are buried. There is a large stone platform in the middle of four columns and statues of Kalara herself uh, uh, gaze at it from three alcoves on each side. Uh, at the front of the chamber, you can see that there are carvings and reliefs that depict the journey of death, and ultimately with Kalara, a mirror of Kalara lifting a body up beyond the cradle into the afterlife. Sat on the main slab in between these four columns, you see Breeze, uh, who looks up, and you can see that before him there is uh, a big cloth covering some sort of object underneath it. Um, he looks up and he sees Nova. He's like, Sentry, you didn't tell me that you would be bringing a non-guardian here. I know, I'm, just, I'm sorry, but this is, this is my friend Nova. She's the most, she's kindest, most gentle person I know. And she just wants to observe the ritual. She's just really interested. And she, she's, she won't do anything to hurt anyone. Is it okay if she watches? <sighs> he kind of sighs and he looks at Nova. I promise I won't interfere. I'm here as an observer and as support to Sentry. I understand. Nova, was it? Yeah. 
You must understand. What I... You've come to care for Sentry. Yes. And you know Guardian's lifespan is limited. Yes. We are hunted in certain parts of Erois, and we are treated very poorly. I myself have been, have suffered at the hands of non-Guardians. This ritual allows us to extend our life. That can make us immortal. That means that we do not age, that we can only be killed through violence. There are many non-Guardians who fear this. God-fearing, the, the ones that worship gods find it abhorrent, the ones that are envious, that w wish to have their own immortality. I must ask you to keep what you see here secret. This is a ritual for guardians. If Sentry trusts you, and you care for Sentry and her well-being, and of Tracker and Scout and Chipper and myself and any other guardian in Erois, you must understand what this ritual is and what it is for. Without it, 15 years is all we get. When we do not die, there is no afterlife for us. We simply cease. There is endless darkness. We lose who we are. Do you understand? I do. And I promise with every fiber of my being that I will keep a respect for what you allow me to see today. And I will protect Sentry. And I would never let guardians Sentry or anyone else in this room be hunted for something so callous. And, and I promise if you could honor me today to let me watch, I will keep this secret. I'll keep it safe. Very well. Very well. Come forward. Uh, lay Tracker down uh, here on the ritual. And Chipper and Scout bring him over and Scout's like, what's this? And he points at the cloth. <coughs> this is gonna be our source of magic, Scout. Set Tracker down, and Tracker kind of sits down. He sees, he looks at Tracker. Tracker, this is Breeze, do you remember me? Yeah, sort of. Have you thought about the offer? Do you wish to end here, Tracker? You are nearing the end now, you know that, yes? Yeah. Do you wish to continue? Do you wish for your journey, for your purpose to stop here? Tracker looks, he looks at Scout, he looks at Chipper. No. All right. Then I can extend your life. Is that what you want? Yes. Okay, then. All right. He stands up. He puts his staff in front of him on the ground, slams it, and a ritual circle, a pre-kind of carved circle, glows in a dark red color. <coughs> You see that whatever is under the cloth twitches for a second. Can I have a look under the cloth? So he's like, holds a hand out. It's like, <coughs> Breeze reaches down, pulls it back. And you see bound is a human man, maybe about mid twenties, alive. Um, his eyes darting around, but his body seems rigid. You can see he's wearing a pretty simple looking tunic, but you recognize the base layers because the last time you saw these clothes, they were under the armor of the zealots, the Ashbringers that came to the Temple of Hesper. And you see emblazoned on his arm a tattoo of the closed fist that they all had as a holy symbol. Breeze points down. He looks at Nova, seeing, trying to gauge a reaction, and then he points down. This man is called Wilden Baker. He is from Kaylee's Rest. He's a sorcerer. He has some magical potential. I caught him uh, about to attack a young centaur whilst her home was being vandalized. It was an ambush he had planned to draw her out of her home, and then he intended to kill her with his magic in service of this god that they follow. I have since learned that he has been involved in threats and beatings and other atrocities throughout this city. His magical power is being wasted, but through it, 
he can give Tracker another 20, 25 years of life. A guardian who has done a service to the city, who has helped the people, defended it from monsters, slayed them, provided business. He looks up and he looks at the guardians. This ritual will kill this man, but it will add life to Tracker. And he looks. That is the cost. It is not a nice cost, but it is the cost. And you can see the human man is terrified. You can see his like trousers are soiled, he's wet. Um, he just looks scared. <sighs> I think Nova just look, looks openly shocked. Like there's no hiding it, she's shocked. But I think in her head, she's like, she doesn't know what to say because she mm -hmm. made a promise to Sentry and to mm -hmm. Breeze to not interfere, but at the same time, it's like... You see Tracker is, you can see Scout and Chip are looking down at him, are looking at this man. And they're not looking at you or Sentry. They're just looking at this figure and then they look up at Breeze and they look at Tracker. And you can see that they're conflicted too. Oh, this is a... Terrible cost, but um, it's it's hard to look. There is at nothing to there is nothing to weigh in my mind. This man has caused nothing but pain and suffering. He does not deserve the years he has been given. Why should this organic man have these years of cruelty when one of us, one of our kind, must end because we have lost the means to replenish ourselves? No, this is a fair trade. This is beyond fair. This is right, what I do here. But he has a life, he has a lifetime to... Freeze slams the staff and the circle begins to glow and the man starts wincing and you can see the veins beginning to sort of pulse and bulge. And S Scout is like, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know about this. this and you can see like Scout like kind of puts his hands up to his little head, his little eyes, like his, his extra eyes kind of blinking and he doesn't, ever, he doesn't seem to know what to do. I'm gonna grab Sentry's hand and, and just be like. <clears throat> uh, Quill, you'll detect magic if you're just outside like back. Yeah. The very edges of it. Very strong <coughs> necromatic presence. Necromatic, cool. Necromancy, and, um, very strong necromancy. I don't suppose I can hear any place. of this. Echoing, it's muffled and distorted. You can vaguely hear it. Um, Tian Gong, do you have a connection with Nova? You don't, you have no response to it. <laughs> Night Frost? Tian Gong? Night Frost here? Night yeah. Frost is within 100 feet. Can you check in on uh, Nova, please, and Sentry? Must, Mr. Lady Nova, what is happening? The others wish to know. I'll look at Sentry. <laughs> he watches, his <laughs> eyes are beginning to bulge. Can we, can, please stop. He like looks. Please. I knew, he just shakes his head. He's just like, <sighs> I knew that this would be the case. You should not have brought the non-guardian here, Sentry. She's clouding what you think is right. No, You're it's... seeing too much of your friends in this villain. I'm not he's saying not... anything about he's... the human I... sacrifice. I know, I know, but. No, but I literally, I'll say that out loud. Oh, you say that out loud. I'm not saying anything about the human sacrifice. Human. Sacrifice is the nature of life. Uh, I, I get <laughs> you, you, Yeah, like, yeah. So Night Frost is then like, ah, Lady Nova has just claimed that there is a human sacrifice in this place. <laughs> There's a... We're going in there, right? <clears throat> Are we? Are, Are we, we not? They... Ask Night Frost if Nova the wants us. The man's skin begins to turn ashen grey, and you begin to see the veins pulsing, but Tracker is... You begin to see this kind of swelling of power, this red glow in his matrix. Um, can I like try, a heartbeat. Can I try and interrupt it in any way? Okay, what do you want to do? Like, like, what do you want to do? How do you try and do it? I, like, you can drag take the, the body. man off the table. Like. Okay, give me a strength check as you leech, reach down to just throw this man out of the way. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, <laughs> <is> no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I saw you at the corner of my eye, I'm like, Charles is loving this. 13. 13, enough. Um, 
you pull him out. Let's say you're going to take half the damage that he would have taken. So you take four necrotic damage. Nice. As you reach down, these tendrils of red lightning lash up from the circle, gripping your arms. You grab him as you pull him free, but the lightning arcs up and you feel it droop in your light force. Breeze is like, Sentry, what are you doing? You throw the body to the side and the man is just like, <laughs> as he gets thrown to the side and Tracker just, and his eyes go dark again. And the Matrix, the fading, this, he's like, I never should have allowed you to come here. Would you like to see where you guys are? Yeah. Uh, okay. I pre-prepared that on that. My favourite. Um, so. Oh boy. It doesn't have to be a fight. I'm sorry I didn't have time to paint put it the columns. There. Yeah, I will do. Yeah. I didn't have time to paint the columns. That's okay. Um, it didn't have to. I mean, be a fight. I'm, I'm not saying that it is this. a fight. I'm not saying it is a fight, but. Let's just put stuff down, shall oh. we? Come on, Sentry, we can use diplomacy. Um, so, Sentry, if you want to put yourself on this here. I'm still uh, next to Sentry, so I know Sentry I've is. not really got any miniatures for Scout and... Um, so these guys will be Scout and Chipper. So, you said that... Um, and then the rest of you put yourselves out here. Tracker's... Uh, <coughs> I know I'm not there, but Tracker's Essence... Mm. He like dimmed again, so does that yes. mean the guy who was on the table is now back to full health? Or? No. no. You can see he is very bad. Well, these guys can see that he is very bad. So badly. what's happened is he's been drained, but it hasn't transferred. The ritual hasn't it was starting to, and it just didn't complete, yeah. Okay. So, at this point, Breeze just shakes his head. It's like, I never should have allowed you to be here. Through disrupting the ritual, you've killed one of our own. You've killed Tracker. And but you can see that Tracker is just stone. I, I cannot finish this now. The transfer only works one time. I'm sorry, it's, it goes against everything that I've been told to do. My entire purpose is to protect. I can't watch harm come to another person like this. I can't. It's, I'm so sorry. De death is natural. It's so, one of the most natural things. It happens to everybody. No, not to us. It was never meant to happen to us. We could have lived Forever, we can live forever, Sentry. Why, would we want, why, why should we live forever when everybody else has to die? Because we are better than they are. We're just because the we same. are greater. We have much more potential than they do. There it is. We can be <laughs> so much more <laughs> well, than this. And he gestures down to the man. There's nothing... It is cruel and twisted. They do not deserve this place. They do not deserve any of this. And what gives you the right to say you deserve to take what he has? He's got a whole lifetime to, to learn and to change and to become change. a better person. Change. These non-guardians cannot change. They are dominated <laughs> by their greed and everything else. Do you want to say something? No! She doesn't, she's just hiding in her hood right now. I think that's not Nova would legit be doing. Be like she would have just like, the she doesn't know what to say. Kim's just hiding within her hood, <laughs> not knowing what to say. Uh, he just snaps his eyes up and he just is like, no, no, my master was right. There are too many of you who are too weak-willed to do what needs to be done. It's, you, you can't, you can't go taking people's lives. You're, you're not, it's not up to you to say who deserves to live and to die. It's, it's not right, Breeze. I, I would, living forever, it would be an amazing gift, but why do that at such a cost? Why? The cost? He looks down at the man, negligible, and just turns, he's like, I'm sorry. You seem very, you would have been a great addition to my master's cause, Sentry. But now that you've seen this, I can't let you leave. I don't want And then he brings the staff and from behind the three columns, uh, the three statues, three <laughs> small echoes. <coughs> each, oh. each echo pulsing with magical power. I thought we can get the map cam up. If, possible. Uh, if we can't, it's okay, but yeah, if we can. I'd prefer the side one, potentially. Mm. Um, and with that, Let's roll some initiative. Oh, piss balls. My hands oh. are so sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good initiative. Wow, well done. <laughs> oh my god, Bad I rolled one. a two. <laughs> huh. uh, I don't like this. I don't like this either. <laughs> mm. 
what's going on. I don't want him to die. I don't want. I don't. No. I don't want Breeze to kill. I don't want Breeze to be mad, bro. Damn um. You. Tony Stark. <laughs> Sentry. <laughs> Why Fourteen. Can't people just be Lucius. nice. I got seven. Nova. Five. Oh. Don't worry. Don't Quill. worry. Uh, Fourteen. Ayla. Six. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Um, perfect. Um, so it looks like Scout is just cradling Tracker. Uh, you're not quite sure if he's going to be much use in this fight, um, or he's going to need to be snapped out of it, if nothing else. He's like holding him, <coughs> like talking to him. And Chipper doesn't even know what he's just like. You've, he's not a combat model. You can tell that he's not a com the Guardian designed for combat. Um, so uh, at the top of the round, these three Echoes, Nova and uh, Sentry, from these Echoes, from their central eye, Beams, two beams each. So six beams. So let's do uh, two against Nova. So that is a that one and a. I just do the same one again. I guess so. And then Sentry. Uh, it's one of those and one of those. So let's do these in order, and then I'll do the next one. So Kim, can you make two Wisdom saving throws, please? Eighteen on the first one. First one. Wow. <laughs> That's gone forever. <laughs> uh, seven on the second one. Okay. So on the second one, the same two kind of purple beams hit you by this this echo. Um, and you just feel this intense fear wash over you, and you need to get away from it as quickly as possible. You're currently frightened. I mean, it um, didn't even really need sentry, to, do that to make me Sentry, uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw for me, and then a wisdom saving okay. throw, please. Ten for the dex. Okay. Nine, no, nine, 20, 20, 20, 20, 23 for the wisdom. Okay, so the wisdom <laughs> passed, but the first one, this beam of frost, uh, kind of erupts out of the echo. Um, you take six points of cold damage, and then you feel it try to daze your mind, but it doesn't take place. And then the third echo will do one beam at you each, one against uh, Nova, and then one against uh, you. So Nova, can you make a dex saving throw for me, please? And can you make a strength saving throw for me, please, Sentry? Natural ah. 20 plus 3. Natural 20, so I need to What's roll 13. It. 13, that's enough. You feel this beam try and like take tele telekinetic hold and try and throw you against the wall, but you manage to dig your heels in and like press against this telekinetic force as this these beams are like um, all around you. Um, after there go, Quill or Sentry, so. Sentry. Yeah, no. Sentry's in the rooms. So. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, um, I'm gonna, um, raise up my shield and uh, I think I'm just going to ready an action um, that if um, Breeze tries to attack me, I'll um, use my battle axe. Okay, so you're, you're hitting back if he tries to attack you. Yeah. Okay, uh, Quill. Uh, so I can hear... Yes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and you said you're about 30 feet down the tunnel, so... Okay. Um, I don't hear that. <laughs> I'm like going to... So basically imagine that the edge of this, uh, no, the edge of the map that's where you can get to on you your... If you move, map. you can move to the very edge. So, oh, yeah, see. like there. Yeah. Uh, Good chance we can get map cam? Map possibly. Cam TJ? All back He's in music? probably working oh, with the three quarters. Thanks. Yeah, man. thanks. Um, okay, so I can see from here... Not much, to be honest. Uh, well, so Scout is technically like cradling Tracker over here, and Chipper is kind of like, oh, don't know what's going on. Okay, but, uh, I can but see. you would, yeah, I'd say like, because don't forget, this all happens in the same six seconds. So you round the corner as these beams from these corrupted echoes are like striking your friends, oh. and you can see Sentry bring up her shield and axe. I don't think I've got a line on any of the things. Though. I'm um, probably just crouching in terror, um, crying. Um, you can see this one. You yeah. can see this echo here. This one you can't. Kind of hovering about there. Oh, that matters anyway. I've got like one spell slot. Uh, I will, in that case, do a sacred flame, sixty feet. Yeah, sacred flame on this. This one. one there, and sacred flame is a dex saving throw. Yes. What's the DC? Thirteen. Thirteen. It fails. I only got an eleven. Cool. I do eight damage. Eight damage Bam. with a D eight. So we'll do A, B, and C for the echoes. So the sacred flame engulfs the echo, and you can see it sizzles, and the gemstone begins to crack, but it's still, and then it turns down on you. And Breeze just looks over, he's like, ah, I thought you might bring more. Um, I prepared for that. <laughs> mm. Lucius. I'm gonna move up next to Quill and cast Acid Splash on the same Echo. Okay. So that is a 
Straight up pow. 18 plus five. It's a hit. 23. And then I'll do a D6, which is a five. I've only got cantrips. Yeah, that's actually enough to destroy that echo. The acid oh. melts it away. They're echoes, they're not very strong. Um, the, the acid melts it away completely and it just uh, And you see Breeze just kind of wince a little bit and he looks over, he's just like, ah oh, yes, the priest and the sorcerer. I watched their match earlier. Um, We're spent. <laughs> Why would you say that? He looks and he's like, I know. Ayla. Oh. Okay, so I, I have slightly more movement to yes. about here, but I'm gonna just oh. dash. If you yeah. want to sacrifice so me. Oh. <laughs> to just behind sentry. Um, I can't do anything else this turn, I'm mm -hmm. just getting closer. Okay. You can't go that far. I can, I have 35. And she dashed. Oh, a dash as well. Yep. Okay. Nova. Reese is last minute, she did five on a three. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna. I have because I'm frightened. I have to actively move away. From so frightened. Uh, Which one frightened. Frightened again? creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. Which one? This one. And you can't willingly move closer. Um, and you can't willingly move closer to the source of the fear. Which is like every yeah. echo. But do I have to? No, like, it's no, this it's that one. It's this one. Do I have to run away? No. 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 I can you just can't go closer. Yes. And you have disadvantage. Oh, Nova's a big hot mess of confusion and sadness. What's she doing? Girl. You got six seconds, come on. Uh, I'm gonna move that way. So you go like five, 10, 15, yep, 20, right over here. And then through the ritual circle. Can I move like out <laughs> this way or is that? that? No. You move there, 30 feet. 30 feet. And then I guess seeing Quill, can I dash towards Quill? Although like, yeah. I don't know if, if. Yeah, you can just dash towards him. Like, do you wanna yeah, move, dash someone move Nova 30 feet 30, towards 30 Quill? Feet. You absolutely can. Lovely. I'm just going to be oh. screaming. Go, 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 <laughs> That's a weird sound. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so we begin a cooler in my rushing head. that way. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to search up a little something here on D&D &D Beyond. A little you, uh, tell us what it is. We might be able to find it quicker. How mm. does finger of death work? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't. Don't. Why is he making Mark. a smile? Mark, please. Oh, he's making, oh no. He's a necromancer, isn't he? So oh no. Na, 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 na. Oh no. That was a joke. Mm. Oh no. Mm. Oh no. Oh. Finger of death, the human. <laughs> Who's he fingering? Don't finger me. No. Don't finger me. <laughs> Nothing the whole time. He looks over at Sentry and he's just like, I'll deal with the humans first and then I'll deal with you. And he rushes over, chasing after Nova. As you're running towards Kill, he like, and the cloak comes flying off and you now see this dark uh, guardian form, these curved horns. It all begins to re radiate this dark red magic um, as he clutches the sword. As he's running, the quarter staff in his hand changes into a long sword. It like, with the red gemstone becoming the pommel and then curving into a blade. He reaches up, cool. points a finger towards Kim. Constitution no. saving throw, please, Kim. I'm not over. Kim, I'm Nova. <laughs> Six. Why you do these? I just stood there. I like that cat. <laughs> you watch as he reaches out, this streak of red lightning erupts from his hand. It catches Nova as she's mid run, kind of yanking on. And you begin to see her blue skin turning pale, turning pale her veins bulging dehydration throughout her whole body as her form is blighted. You take 39 points of necrotic. Oh, damage. I'm still alive! Oh my really? God. Oh. How much health do you have? 41. <clears throat> if you're hoping for a Echoes, heal. keep centering the other fighter busy for the time being. Um, at the top of the round, the Echoes, uh, Nova and Sentry are gonna get hit by two beams each. I just imagine that in doing that, I've so. just fallen to my knees in front of Quill. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first things first, can you both make strength saving throws for me? Me? Yes, you, you and Sentry. Sorry. 
Sorry. Uh, he said both the fighters to the, for the echoes. Yeah, but he said no bow loads. I mean, so what was I it? Mean, what strength saving throws. Uh, 12. 12? 18. 18. So Sentry, you pass, but um, Ayla, you are picked up and you are hurled 30 feet. 5, 10, Fab. 15, 20. He basically throws you into this column. Um, you're going to take 3d6 damage. Uh, for a total of nine, as this beam like whoom, throws you across the room, smash the cavern shakes ah! as stone and dust begins falling Gosh. down from the ceiling as Ayla's form uh, slams into this pillar. Uh, Sentry, you manage to resist this beam once again. Then can you both make wisdom saving throws for me, please? Uh, sorry, my DD beyond is crashed. <laughs> oh shit! <Come> back. Um, <laughs> Refresh nope. the page. I am trying. I got twenty. What was that save? Uh, wisdom saving throw. You're um, fine, Sentry. Nice. I've rolled a 16. You're probably you're fine, unless you've got like heavy negatives to wisdom, I which think, I don't think. If it at the most, it'd be one. Be one, yeah. So you're fine. So you feel these other beams. Uh, your one seems to strike you and try to instill you with fear, but you shake it off, knowing the the you know seriousness of the situation. Ayla, yours tries to daze you with a, a blinding light, but you manage to shrug it off for the time being. Uh, that's both of their beams. Cool. Uh, sentry. Um, I'm gonna kind of dash backwards towards the guys at the back. Yeah, absolutely. Just move yourself where you need to go. Uh, how, how long was my dash? How far is it? Wait. Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet. So that's your normal movement. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's your normal <laughs> movement. Um. Yeah, do you want to dash or do you want to just normal move? This is your normal movement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dash and be closer to the guys. Okay. You gonna be here? Yeah, that's good. So you're just basically within five feet of all of them? Yeah. She's not down. She's not down. <laughs> just extremely yeah, low I'm health. Yeah, I'm just on my knees, crying. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you run over there to them. Uh, Quill? Too healthy. Uh, right, I am going <laughs> to hand Nova Tiangong and in the same movement, uh, Hugh Wings. The okay. touch. So, come on, roll an eight again. It's one. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you get four health. Wow. Grats. Thanks. Clerics. Cool. <laughs> Uh, Lucius. A fucking spell slot. That's it, that's all I got. appreciate it. Lucius. <laughs> Nova! I'm gonna go over and pour a potion of healing. Do you have one? Yes, the last okay. one. Mark Actually, off. I've got two. Yeah, right, we go. bought them. Okay, so healing, po regular potion. Nova, stay with us, please. Um, that's gonna be seven, eight, nine. Lucius, I don't feel so good. I'm gonna like... Nine hit points. Get her behind me. Mm, you can't really move her in your turn. I'll get in front of her. <coughs> yeah, you can move in front of her though. You brute! Okay. Uh, Ayla. Uh, I'm going to rage. One. <laughs> yeah. I would like to I rage. I would like to rage, please. I'm pretty angry right now. Um, yeah. Like super angry. Like super angry. Okay, so. <laughs> I can, mm, I'm going to try and take out these little shits. Mm hmm. So I'm going to go to this one yeah. and give it a whack in. This little echo bobbing, and you can see it's not like echo. This one's metal is twisted, almost like big thick spikes around this mm. dark red central orb. That's fun. Oh, that was almost a natural 20, and it was a two, so no, I don't hit it. I no, this thing eight. weaves out of the way, whoosh, flies up hit. towards the air. Uh, as you try and strike it, Nova. Can I... Um, oh, I go around this, safety throw, don't I? This, yes, you do. Can I hide around this Failed. pillar, wait so that he can? Yes, you can, absolutely. Um, and hopefully the other echo can't either. Yep. Uh, he failed, sorry. Yes. One point of <laughs> lightning damage. One point of lightning damage. <laughs> this little the, tiny what shot. What are the other guardians doing? Um, so Scout is cradling Tracker and like looking down and he's like trying to shake him awake. Chipper is just like pressed up against the thing and doesn't know what to do. He's, he's just like freaking out. Um, you can try and give them orders, you can try and like help them, but if they're left to their own initiative, they're just kind of panicking. Can I just um, shout <coughs> Scout? <coughs> shout what? Shout at Scout. Yeah, sure. Can I just say, Scout, snap out of it! Sure, give me a... You can make it as an Intimidate or a Persuasion, I'll let you choose. Ten. Ten, okay. Uh, he's kind of like coming around, he's like, something's wrong! I, I don't know. He's like looking around, um, he's... Seems to be snapping out of it, but it's probably going to take a bit more to get him fully back on board. Um, so, after Ayla, it is Breeze's go. What about Nova's go? Oh yeah, sorry, Nova. Yeah, I literally said your name and then... Yeah. Thing said. Nova yeah. has a go. Go on. Uh, can I glug a potion of healing, please? You're going to need such a big potion. Seven. Wing. 
I know, right? If, if I'm alive to have one! Can we add potion wee rules to heroics? Mm. Yeah. Because we drank a lot. <laughs> sure. Oh, Every I have break. two potions! <gasps> yeah, we both have two. Make sure two. you mark them off. Yeah, because okay. you bought them at Rose Meadows, remember? I thought I thought I had one. Yeah. I have two. Can I glug the second? No. Um, no. <coughs> can I? So that's my bonus action or action? Yeah, for, for drinking your own potion your bonus own. action, yeah. Oh. Okay. Drinking your own, but you've for fed someone else. Yeah. It's, it's, an, it's an action, yeah. Fair. Six seconds. One, two, I'm gonna drink, three. I'm gonna eldritch blast. Sure. Yep. I'm just gonna clutch Tiangon to me. Okay. And just be like, ow. Okay, go for it. Uh, plus six. Uh, uh, you have disadvantage because the, the thing of your fear is still within range. No, uh, that's a six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, no, it's not. Breeze kind of brings the sword up and deflects the blast away. He kind of just yeah. smashes it to the side. Do you get for that? Eldritch Blast? For the, no. For the oh, for the fear. fear. Um, yeah. Until start of its next go. So it has gone, actually. So the first one would have hit. The fear would have gone by now. Oh, so I'm not frightened anymore? No. Oh. So what was the first one you rolled? 22. Yeah, that hits. OK. Yep. Uh, so 1d10. Good shout. Yeah, most of their effects are until the start of the next turn. Just Yep. Nice. One. <laughs> Woo! One, one point of damage. So um, he still kind of like slices it, but parts of it still smash into his arms, and he just. I Ugh. imagine it would just be like a fear reflex as well. Like, uh, um, and can I move backwards, please? I mean, yes. The tunnel begins to get narrower. I just want to move. Map. I don't want to move. Like I just want to move. Sure. Like I just like like here. Yeah, yeah. So you start just backing off into the tunnel. <coughs> um, yeah, sure. You do that. Uh, now it's Breeze's go, and he will be. He moves up towards Lucius. It's like so noble. Um, he will try and slice you with a sword with one hand, and then the other hand fires a beam towards Nova, basically, uh, who's moved past. I'm so squishy and yep. cute. So Lucius, that is a 19 to hit you. Can I react and protect? Uh, do you, you want to do disadvantage on his attack against Lucius? Yes, please. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it. That was a two seven oh. to hit. Nice. So you throw your shield or the axe in the way, deflecting Ding. his blade. Nice. But as you do, his hand shoots through, and a green purple, uh, green light shoots out of his finger towards Nova. Um, that is going to be a. That's going to be a eighteen to hit. Can I use shield? You can if you have a spell slot and a reaction to do it. I have two spell shields. Yep. Spell shots, <laughs> spell, spell slots. That's that. So you can use shield. And that makes plus me five. plus five. So yeah, I would like to use shield, okay. please. And that lasts until the end of your next turn. Yep. Okay, so this, you throw the shield up and this green light <coughs> launches off it and you're nice. just like, mm. grunts. Can I direct it back at his eyes? No. <laughs> uh, one of the echoes flow over here um, and get in your face. Uh, Sentry and Lucius, Rebel. one beam at each of you. Lucius, can you make a deck saving throw for me? Sentry, can Sentry's, you make a strength saving throw Sentry's for me? Sentry's in like melee range and he's casting beyond her. Is there any didn't, didn't seem to. Uh, so to what is it? He is practiced in the art of war dex. magic. Cute. Uh, he's, he's dex for you, uh, strength for you. That's strength save? Plus four, 24. Easy. Four. <laughs> so this, from the, from the corrupted echo, 15 points of cold damage and the second beam tries to grip you again with that telekinetic force to throw you away, but doesn't seem to take effect. Uh, Ayla, two beams against you. Um, That's a dex saving throw and a wisdom saving throw. Six <coughs> for the dex, natural one. S so 16 cold damage. Um, and then you are now also dazed until the start of its next go. Your speed is halved and you have disadvantage on attack rolls. This blinding light Shoot flashes and you're like, ah, and you're kind of swinging your hammer blindly, unable to see where exactly it is. Um, sentry. Um. Oh, um, I don't want to, I don't want to hit Breeze yet. <laughs> Um, Leaf hit, breeze. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, what would Sentry do? 
Again, he's almost six killed secundos. Nova, and he's attacking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's he's, he's attacking them mercilessly. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay, let's do it. I'm just like. Uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Cool. I'll I will I'll cast thunder and smite on him then, please. Okay, so you can't wait. You cast thunder and smite on the axe. Yeah. Um, you will need to because the the echo is kind of here. You'll have to. Around. Yeah, which would mean leaving Lucius. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah. You move yeah, there. let's just do it. Yeah. Okay, so you move around. Should you not move in the same space as the Echo? No, technically you can't move into another creature's space. Tiny. It is tiny, but you it still out of the technically way. operates. It's small, I think. Or is it tiny? Alrighty. Rock and roll. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Come on, Sentry. Let's go. Send my modifier that's. Plus four, isn't it? Yeah, 16. It should be for more than plus four for your attack roll. Mm. It should be, it's if you go on action. Oh, attack. oh, yeah. Attack roll. With your six. battle axe. Plus right. six. Oh, yeah, so that'll be 18. 18 to hit Breeze. Yep. Just hits him. Yes. Uh, you can see the lightning quick. He goes to parry it, but you just managed to catch him. Your honed warrior's senses pushing through the, his defense. Make your attack roll. So this is your normal damage plus the thunderous smite damage. Cool. So it'll be D8 plus four, and That's then two D6. Okay. So ten. Okay. So ten. And then two D6. Four nine. Another nine. Mm. Oof. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Also, you killed him. He's dead. Let's go home. Uh, does he have to make a strength saving throw or anything for Ooh. thunder or smite? Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Yes, strength saving throw. Otherwise, he'd be pushed two feet away. And what's the DC on that? DC so I got fifteen. Okay, so he's not pushed back. You slam into him, this wave of thunderous force boom, erupts outwards and he argh, he kind of grips the sword as you're two clashing and he's just like, mm, I'm not going to be bested here. And he kind of shoves back on it, not pushed back. Um, but you can see that the blow has definitely gone through and hit his form. Okay. Uh, Lucius. Oh no, sorry, Quill. Uh, oh, um, I uh, am going to I didn't use advantage on my strength saving throw. Do I have a strength one? I don't think it's just advantage no, on strength it. saves, it's on ability checks, I think. You gain advantage you on strength checks and savings. Oh, there you go. I'm going to swing my barrier ring. <coughs> I don't know if I had that. So I've got plus shield, two AC. Plus two to my AC. Um, and... Uh, so I'm not holding the, the shield, am I? No. It's hovering above. It's the whole point of the barrier ring, yeah. In that case, I've got no spells. I'm going to bring the Thunderstone pistol out. <laughs> Okay. Oh no, wait, it's not the Thunderstone one, it's the Arcana one, isn't it? Yeah. The Arcana it's the same pistol. attack bonuses. Uh, and I'm gonna shoot at Breeze, I suppose. Okay. Um, attack roll. Only plus two. Yeah. 20. Ooh. The 20? Yeah. Okay. It hits um, him. It's not an actual 20. No, but it hits was... him though. It seems like in the moment where he's defending against the Thunderous Smite, you pull out the Arcane Pistol from Demos, you know, pull back, the you know, cock the, the small Thunderstone cap, yeah. take aim, and it, it doesn't have <laughs> the, the same hit. amount the of recoil, hit. but it's still a, you know, you're not used to firing with it. Nice. D10. 10. 12 damage. 12 damage? <laughs> Moly. Yes. So you hear this, and a huge chunk, probably one of his eyes, shatters. Oh. Oh, I know oh. how that feels. Oh. You'll pay for that. Oh, I already oh. have before. <laughs> You've still got an eye. He's kind of broken it. half of his face <laughs> as he stares at you. Oh, uh, take this side, Lucius. <laughs> uh, I'm going to disengage. Yep. Ah. So that's, well, that's your action, and then you spend your movement. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Fuck. So you're just trying to get cover Fuck. from him. Bonus okay. action. You still have bonus action, yeah? Potion. Yep. So you're gonna drink the last potion. one. Uh, that is, ooh, eight, ten hit points. I'm rolling very high well, on potions bloody today. Hell. Uh, Nova, then. Um, is uh, Breeze wearing metal? I mean, he has metal as part of him. Could I heat it? You can try. Um, the other option is, uh, first of all, I'd like to put a Hexblade Curse on him. Mm -hmm. Is that bonus action? Bonus action. Okay. Um, and it gives two to damage rolls. Mm -hmm. Only for you, though. Yeah. Um... Like, is the metal visible on him? Yeah, it's the same as Sentry. Like, he has, like, metal built into oh, his frame. It. I'm gonna try it. Okay. I'm gonna cast Heat Metal on him. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, he will take wyvern. damage. He will take damage from it. Yeah, it works on the wyvern. Um, there are certain elements with with breeze that aren't necessarily the same. So yeah, roll damage for me as normal. And then is it plus two to that mm. from the hexblade curse? Plus two to damage rolls. It says. Yeah, I guess it would be. Yeah. Whoa. Eight, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, it's two eights, isn't it? Sixteen. Is it two eights or yeah. is it an eight? Yeah, because with the oh, with the plus two, two yes, yeah, so sixteen. Okay, yeah. So you watch as it does affect his form. I'm going to reduce the damage a little bit because there's some things you don't know. Um, it begins to burn and glow hot, and he's like, ah, irritating. And he just turns and looks at you. Can I move a little bit further as well? I mean, you can, yeah, the tunnel starts curving, but you can start moving along it, yeah? Um, like, I kind of want to go, like, away. There. Yeah? So, like, are you moving 30 feet away, or are so you I'm moving... So curving, I'm curving, like, how many, across how, away. How far in feet are you moving away? 30. 30. Okay. Okay, so you're about 30, 40, 45 feet away from him mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah. Just for your own spell range as well as yeah. his. Um, okay, on his turn, he will attempt to hit sentry. Um, yeah, he'll attempt to hit sentry with his sword strike, and then with one hand, he's going to fire out towards Quill, Nova, or Lucius. I mean, Lucius is a bit of that. cover. He did also, yeah, so he'll fire a beam at uh, Quill. Thanks for taking the bullet um, there. I'm not a healer, but I'll at least stop Nova getting hit. 23 to hit you, Sentry. Yeah, an eye for an eye. You're going to take only four points of slashing damage as the sword carves into you. And then he fires something towards Quill. Um, another sickening green beam. Can that is going to be. React on that one? You can't because you're not within five feet of oh, Quill. Well, you have to be within five yeah. feet of Quill. Chop his arm off when 20 uh, to hit you, Quill. Yeah. Okay. Can you make a constitution saving throw for me, please, as well? Uh, eight. Okay, you take 14 poison damage and you are now poisoned. Poisoned? Mm -hmm. So you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. 14 and poison. Okay, 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 okay. He's just, he like looks around, he's just like, mm, grunts for a second. Uh, the Echo will try and move away from Sentry. You get an attack opportunity if you want Sentry and move yeah, next to Quill. It. Yep, so make an attack roll, Norm, normal attack roll. Ooh, that is a nine. Nine, yep, misses. Uh, Quill and Nova, you're going to get one beam each. Uh, Nova, deck save. Quill, that is a wisdom saving throw, please. Ayla, two more beams at you as well. That's another deck save and another strength save. Remove advantage. 14. 14. 21. 21, so you're both fine. Huh? Just coming from the echo. Mm -hmm. 12 on decks. 12 on decks. And... Ten on strength. I'm rolling it like absolute shit. Yeah, man, that's really bad. Take another twelve points of cold damage. I might actually. And it picks you up and poof, throws you against the wall again. What? I'm not so hot. Are you taking um, half damage on this bludgeoning damage? Because when you're thrown in the wall, you're raging, so you only take five total. That's already halved because um, the rage reduces yep, it. I'm you, single digits now. You just took five more though. Oh wait. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. So the cold, the ray of cold, you take full damage. It then grabs you with its telekinetic ray, <laughs> slams you against the wall, you yeah, take not, five more. Not, That's already hard. Um, okay, so Ayla is looking pretty bad. Uh, we then go to Sentry. I've done shit all. Um. You've had bad rolls. Had so, bad rolls. I'm gonna do ensnaring strike. Okay. On him. Um, at second level. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Yar. <coughs> so, let me see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's the one that insta kills, right? Uh, it restrains him and takes 1d6 of piercing damage at the start of each of his turns. Um, and then he dies. He has to make a strength saving check against his spell DC. And then we get 4,000 XP. Okay. So I believe you need to hit him as normal. Yeah. And then I need oh, to oh that's Garbo. That's a nine again. It's not enough. He parries it with a blade. Ching! <laughs> as he blocks the, that, the battle axe strike. Remember, the, the, the entanglement strike, though, Kate stays on the battle axe. Okay. It's only until you hit. So use it again. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, he brings up the sword to parry, 
and you can feel, you know, you feel the reverberations through your arm as he deflects it. And he seems stronger than you perhaps first thought. He definitely okay. has some strength to him. Um, Quill. Uh, I have to reload the pistol to use it again, don't I? I believe you do, yes. Uh, in that case, I am going to... Uh, no, the arcane pistol has four shots reload. Does it? Mm -hmm. Can I double shoot it for a bonus action? No. Damn. Um, okay, in that case... I am uh, just going to do that. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, there's a little drone in front of me. And you also have disadvantage because of the poison. Oh. Jeez! We're being fucked here. I am going to shoot at him again. Okay. Um, disadvantage. Did I miss my turn? I feel like I haven't gone in I think ages. you might have. I haven't hit... I, I tried thought, to hit I thought I did, but I'm going to... Uh, you can take a go after this. It doesn't... Doesn't hit. I rolled like a three plus okay. two, so five. Um, in that case, I'm gonna back up. Okay, um, the little tiny echo is gonna try and slam you slam. as you move away. 21 to hit. <laughs> you mean slam me? It's a drone. Ah, <laughs> uh, you take one bludgeoning damage. Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so as you try and like, you turn thinking it's not a threat, <coughs> and it smashes into your head. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Esper! Inspired by uh, but you still, you still move away. Yeah. Uh, so you go after Nova. So Ayla, take uh, a go now, and then you'll okay. get another go. I mean, you still would have had disadvantage, you would have had disadvantage on these attack rolls anyway, because it was the last turn you had the days. Right. So um. disadvantage on these ones, but then the proper turn you don't have disadvantage. Um... I'm actually just going to try and get further up here. Because... So you're just going to run? So he'll do the same thing, he'll try and slam you. Oh, Wait, that's... no, I'm, I'm away from him because he but slammed... You, before, if you were taking your turn oh. before, you would have been like here. Like you would Well, if I'm, if I'm here, then I'm going to hit it before I... Okay, yeah, so like... you were here on, on your previous turn. So make an attack ah. roll against this thing. Okay, so... And that would have been your last turn. So it wouldn't hit anyway with this advanced 7, okay. 9, 10. Nine. Wait, 13? Would 13 that hit does it? hit, yeah, okay. 13 hits, yeah. So, dex saving throw. Oh yeah, do that as well. Failed. 8... Plus four. That's enough well, to destroy it. So it wouldn't throw me, so I wouldn't have taken... <laughs> you wouldn't have taken that last point of damage. So I wouldn't but have taken let's... any of that damage, because I took 16 yes. plus five. So you get, yeah, take those hit points back. Okay. Because I missed my turn. Yeah. Because I would have destroyed it. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's, that's my fault. So I get 21 it's not back. like I'm trying to run a bunch of stuff. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so you didn't take the damage. Was it you destroyed the thing. I think it was 19 damage, because it was 14, 19. then 5. Yeah. 14, then 5. Mm. Is it just one echo left, then? I yeah, guess. the one in front of us. Yeah. TJ, we're just going to try and wrap this combat up, and then we'll try and rush through the ending. I'd like to try and finish this, if we can. Whose go is it? Um, so, uh, so that was Quill's go, then it would go to Lucius, okay. then Ayla, then Nova. I'm going to firebolt that mm -hmm. echo. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a 2. It's a fail. Yeah. That's my go. All right, that cool. should go. So then it goes to Ayla. Now it's Ayla's proper go. Um, so you're going so to want to rush dash. ahead. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, um, yeah, I'm actually just going to duck in here. Okay. So I think that, yeah, I wouldn't. I'm going to duck in here so that he can't see me. Nice. Okay, so you duck in there. So that, yeah. Okay, so you tuck in and you can see this large statue of Kalara so next to you. I can't get to him on this turn. Okay. Uh, then it goes to Nova. Uh, can I Eldritch Blast the little, the echo? The echo, in front yeah, of me, absolutely. But also do, uh, do the heat metal on um, mm -hmm. Breeze. Yeah, so roll the damage. Breeze boot. So I'll do um, Breeze first. Mm -hmm. Plus two. Six, 12, 14, 14 on Breeze. And then. Uh, Eldritch Blast, sorry, I've got the wrong dice. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 to hit. 23 to hit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hits. Two points of damage. Two points of damage. Better okay. than one. Well, is it? Yes, it's double one, isn't it? Wait, True. it's on like, uh, I'm so confused. It's extremely myself. positive outlook. <laughs> it's mm. double one. <laughs> Huh. Like having two whole goes of one. I got bonus action, right? Left. 
Does heat metal, is heat metal bonus? I think it's a bonus. I think you have okay. to use a bonus action on your turn to do the damage. Okay. Ignore me then. Okay. So on Breeze's go. He's going to quit. So you know I'm considering it. Pretty low on hit points. Just going to leave us alone. Come in peace. Misunderstand. Okay, he's going to try something first, and then oh, depending on how it goes, he might bug out. Um, he bug out. lifts up a hand, and you see uh, the free hand that he's been casting his spells with begins to crackle with red energy. And he's going to reach out and he tries to grab Sentry with it. No. That is going to be Precious. 19. That just hits. Sentry's going to take five, six necrotic. Mm -hmm. He regenerates a small amount of health as it touches, but I think that that's still too much of a risk for him. So he grabs you, you feel this life force drain out, and he just looks around, he's just like, we'll meet again. Mm. Pulls in something in his, po in his pocket, drinks a potion, his form turns into a mist, and he floats up into the ceiling of the crypt, and then begins filtering through the natural rock, like seams in the stone. <sighs> that's pretty gross. Yeah. He's going to bug out, I think, because he was is pretty close. Is the echo still going? The echo is still going, and it is in fact the echo's go, um, and it will target Quill and Nova I each. the wrong thing. Uh, so both of you make strength saving throws, please. Oh, I'm really good at that. It's going to come back. 18 Two. plus. 18? 18 plus, yeah. So Quill, you managed to hold off this telekinetic force. Cool. Nova, you feel it grab you. It throws you basically 30 feet into the room and into a wall, slamming you in for 15 points of bludgeoning damage. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm rolling really well on 3d6. Idle champions dice. Yeah. <laughs> They're killers. Uh, five. Are you still like, conscious? Yes. Okay, so you throw him back in, bam, slam into the ground with a skidding thud um, as you fly in sentry. Um, I'm just gonna... Um... <coughs> try and get rid of this last echo, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, Let so me remove gone. this from the board, please. It's harshing my aura. Um, harshing I'll just hit with a regular attack. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that hits. 19. That hits. And 1d8 plus 4. And that the is 11. Strike. And the ensnaring strike. 11 is. Yep. Yeah, it's just destroyed. It's yep. got tiny hit points. Gone. So you watch as this last, you cleave it in two, and as it hits, it just bursts into like a red you know, mist that seems to be inside it. Just. <laughs> as it lays scattered around the ground. Uh, you look over at the scene, the man, the human man is alive, although he looks very drained, um, very unwell. But Tracker is just lifeless. Um, and you can see Scout is just kind of holding him. And that's where we're gonna end today's yeah. session. Man. Damn. Breeze was not a nice man. We were Brookstone. You Brookstoned us, Mark. I, I mean, double well, Brookstone. Well, did he? Can't he just... He didn't reveal the kind of squishy nature. Because he knew it was shit. Mm. He was it was shit? Bad. He didn't it's lie. A pretty bad guy emotion. that you saved. Pretty bad guy. Yeah. Should have just let it happen, to be honest. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't do there nothing. is there is some major donos, so oh, okay. let's rattle oh, through these because I'm sorry, TJ. I know we're keeping <sighs> you late. By all means, hassle tups. Um, but I'd like to read these out. He said uh, something. It's cool, I think. It's cool, okay. all right. Um, Desiree, um, I'm gonna have to move around to read these. Uh, donated happy birthday to my favorite dungeon master, my biggest inspiration, Mark Humes. I hope that one day I'll be as creative and as good as a storyteller as you are. Thanks very much. Um, do you have them up there, Trot? Is it gonna be easier for me to read them off your iPad? Probably. Or somebody else can read them if you want. Uh, like Art Fishing donated, thank you very much. Very generous donation. Thanks for another awesome session, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, Frank the NPC donated oh. a ha 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 fundo. Oh, oh, wow. Happy birthday to the best DM and happy late birthday to the others. Mercer is nothing on you, Mark. That's not true. Oh. I had to VOD squad the last few weeks, but I'm back in time for a celebration. Iron Sloths forever. Woo. Thank you very much, Frank. Oh, Olrenve donated. Thank you very much. No message. Dragster donated. Hello. Just a donation to say happy birthday, Mark. Our beloved dungeon dad. I must say that you don't look a day over D20. Thank you very much. Oh. Nice. Uh, I like that. NMD Cheery. Huh? I rolled a D20. Thanks. Got six. Uh, NMD Cheery donated. First time I'm able to donate. Been watching since the very beginning. Thank you for all the laughter, crying, and many other emotions. I don't even have a word for. Happy birthday, Mark! My horrible present for you is some grammar Nazi stuff in second part. Okay. Uh, uh, Lehan. The rose is spelt. Donated. The part. The participus. The participle you wanted to use is secreted. 
from the verb to secret, stressed on the first syllable, secreted, different from the secrete, stressed on its blah, 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 both written the same, hence the confusion. I mean, did I say secreted? It was a while ago. I don't remember. It was a while ago, I remember the episode. Sheriff Fair, thank you very much. Quarter Hundo, happy birthday, Mark. Happy birth belated birthday, Trot. Happy pre-birthday, Rhiannon. <laughs> happy High Rollers Day to Kim and Katie and Tom. Yay. Thank you all for the entertainment you provided this men itself in the community over the many years. <laughs> <laughs> Nightjar, sweet Nightjar, donated. Managed to battle my silly brain into submission, so I'm back to watching live again this week. Woo. As always, thank you for the everything you do, guys. I'm not sure if I'll able ever be able to properly verbalize how much joy and comfort High Rollers brings me. Um, Night Jar donated again. That. Happy birthday to our wonderful DM Mark, the biggest Donald Duck fan I've ever met. <laughs> That's not true. Also, <laughs> happy belated birthday to Trot and happy future birthday to Rhiannon. Katie, you. I pass oh, it to you. I can do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Jesus <laughs> Mr. Falkar has donated <laughs> saying, Hey Tom, I love you I love and your character, so. but you talked a, a lot of shit to the best player at the table about not doing his job as a healer. Notice the suspicious lack of healing from you. <laughs> Have a great day. I mean, you healed me for one. I healed, he healed? I healed? He healed! I healed for four HP. He rattle tried. through, rattle you know, through. Uh, you can only have one spell. Lone, spell. Healing spells are garbage, that's why. Rattle through. Lone Wolfie has donated saying, did you know that Rhiannon's birthday is the anniversary <coughs> of the first time someone was killed by animated armor on High Rollers? I'm sure it's a coincidence. Also, Sentry fretting about Spell Clash last week was adorable. Happy birthday and have a good one. It was. Uh, uh, DJ, DJ. This is probably expecting us to catch okay, it. Okay, well, where's the, where's where's the it? iPad? I've done it. Have you done it? Well, it's not updated on that. Which one? Do you, do which one? Just, just read it. Well, that one's done. Yeah, we've done that one. This one's done. Just that one, yeah. Lone Wolfie again. Nice to see you all less ill, by the way. I got some HR dice. They're surprisingly heavy and roll really well. Hashtag ad. First roll was an at one, so it's uphill from here. Still what? eagerly waiting. <laughs> I'm a delight. And Holmes Warm Plate merch, as well as Aww, new dice. Home is a warm plate. NMD <laughs> Cheery <laughs> donated. Apparently, autocomplete made me donate with two different names. Oh, okay. Lao Han donation about the verb secreta was my grandma Nazi present. Sorry I couldn't donate more. Love you all. Hope the stream goes on forever. That was, there three, go. that was three donations. So, wow. I mean, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Helgi Potato donated. Use Firebear on the guards! Firebear. Firebear, bring I'm it back. Varus, thank you for your donation. Skaldar donated from spell clashing to park squatting. High Rollers has it all. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. <laughs> Endless Dex donated. There are moon symbols, but no moon. Hashtag plot holes. Not a moon symbol? Where was there a moon symbol? Was it in your Kalara walls crypt? Kalara. Huh? Kalara in the Kalara crypt? Meh. Anyway. Meta Manu donated. Whoa, the. Happy Sorry. birthday, yeah. Mark. Rhiannon and Trot. That is a half hundo there. It's a half Thank hundo there, Mr. but here it is. TJ Not the word oh. saying anything less about that half hundo. No, very kind. Absolutely. Jimmy That's Keeper X donated half a thousand. Half thousand. Been stuck vodding Jeez. most of the. <laughs> been stuck. Voting most of the time this year, so here's a mass happy birthday to everyone. Thank you so much, Jimmy oh, Kieber. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a hundo each right that's there. Not right. That's not. not. That's One, not. two, three, four, five, six, six of us. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Woody donated. Boop, 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 boop. Shout out to Chocobo Choco Asylum. Yeah, Chocobo Asylum for the gifts up too. Hey. Florence Tend, and should I keep going? Yeah, uh, happy birthday, Mark. Just finished my exams, and now I'm starting the second semester of uni tomorrow. Here's a little something for helping me through the stress of exam season. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. The Omni Nerd donated a quarter hundo. Thank you very much. Mm. Down us here, Rutger Hauer start voicing Breeze in their heads. Intentional or not, I love the parallels of the replicants in Blade Runner and the Guardians. Happy birthday, all. Thanks for the many hours of wonderful stories you've shared. Time to riff. Donated. Playing D&D, one of our people ended up accidentally killing a 14 girl trying to get information out of her. I ended up killing him for it, even though we're all in the same team. Pretty funny. Have you guys ever Doesn't ended sound up- sound very funny. Team killing for any reason. No. Yeah. We try and avoid it where we can. I was gonna dunk Trot in the uh, ritual circle. Just see Take what him! Yeah. <laughs> Take him, he's young! <laughs> oh That's wow. a lot of life. Keep going. <laughs> Ace of Thorns today and hail, <coughs> hail to all from a sneezy coughing Scotland. Happy birthday to the cat or whoever's birthdayed this week. <laughs> Nautilix one donated with two spent spellcasters. This is the most nail-biting fight in ages. Okay. Where's a vat of molten steel when you need it? <laughs> nice. Dun, Darth dun, Dave, dun, dun, dun. 41. Uh, is this fight going to end on a cliffhanger? I've heard this is how Mark gets his birthday jollies. I guess <laughs> this message is also going to end on a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> the gamer guy donated, I knew it! Human sacrifice, called it! The speech that Breeze gave was chilling. What a good moral, moral quandary. 
Harry, happy birthday, Mark. You're literally the best. I'll second this sentiment that Mercer ain't got nothing. No. We're not competing. We're not. There's no, no need to say stuff like that. Yeah, but who wins, though? But if no. you were, yeah. he'd win. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Both Thank great. you for the players. I think, I think Trot got more joy out of that than I did. You were like... <laughs> yeah. Sacrifice necromancy. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. I'm sorry to keep you late, TJ, but we'll be back next week for more high rollers. And thank you to our and thank you. well, our wonderful sponsor for today, Elderwood. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Show off stuff. So quickly. things, things and stuff from Don't Elderwood. Forget, so there were some questions. I forgot to do this after the break. Um, we don't know exactly how long the code will last for, so if you want to order something, do it today. It may be around for a week, but we don't know exactly, so do that now. Yeah. Is there a minimum spend? As far as I know, no. And I know it's very affordable, so things like the, the little dice chest is like $40. You can grab those, you can get some free dice with it. Yeah. Super cute. Super hey, cute. happy birthday, High Thank Rollers. You. Put that in your order information. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Thank you for watching. See you next week. See you next Bye. week. Bye, guys.